let that be your first prayer point tonight father break every chain lift your voice and pray break every chain break it break every chain please pray number two lord i cry for a visitation tonight in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray a visitation by your spirit it is within your power visit me tonight <laughs> Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Revelation chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. This was the worship in heaven. He says, saying with a loud voice, read with me worthy is the lamb that was who has received for us number one number two number three number four number five number six and finally open your mouth and prophesy these things and say lord you have received for me this is what redemption makes available that in Christ, all of this, please keep the scripture on the screen. Pray. You have received for me power, dominion. You have received for me riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory. Take away shame. Everything he did not receive for you. Decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Please be serious. Be serious, those outside, those online, follow us as we pray. Shake it, take a tabaraka to shabra nagata. E break it, take a to shabra scalabarako to so break it. You have received for me. You have received for me power, honor, glory. You have received for me. The last prayer point and we'll sit down say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus let tonight be a night of strange signs and wonders in my life i release my faith to receive everything that must move me forward in this year of triumph lift your voice and pray i release my faith tonight I release my faith to that. Your grace has made it available for me. Shaparaka to Sata. Lekate prakato saprakatash. I take my ears away from the naysayers, from the doubters. I believe you.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please walk up to five people, give them a big hug, and tell them you are in for an encounter. Make sure you are generously blessing someone. Those online, find someone near you. Tell them you are in for an encounter in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Those outside, can you shout Jesus? That's the name that will disgrace the devil in your life this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him, and given him an office, a name, was given to him please let your heart be open i just want to charge us tonight i really believe god with all my heart i prayed for you and i believe god with all my heart that tonight will truly be a night of miracles Amen. in the name of jesus christ like i told us we're trusting god to make sure please listen that between now and the last koinonia meeting that every prophecy that is still hanging our assignment in these few weeks is to engage every mystery that must be engaged until we see it to pass. We will put pressure on God's integrity until the word of God finds expression. It says, give him no rest until he establishes Zion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just want to share with us something that the Lord put in my heart tonight. It's a miracle service. And um, there's a lot to do tonight. But as I began to examine what I would share, the Lord put in my heart to just exhort us and challenge us before we begin to pray. And I just want to give us a little charge over an area that I think is, is very subtle, but many believers have been victims. And this that I want to just share with you now I think has caused more damage in the life of many believers as far as our results are concerned that we would never imagine. Praise the Lord. And so my assignment is to open us up so that we will lift that lead and trust the Lord to invade our lives. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. I want to talk very briefly on victory over the spirit of fear victory over the spirit of fear fear is a phenomenon that as human beings we have been psychologically speaking we have been taught to be used to it we have given it a lot of intelligent explanations we have incorporated it as part of our lives are we together different teachings have come uh, especially in the area of dealing with fear medical people will tell you that fear has a great impact on the health and the well-being of an individual that an individual can literally die as a result of fear not gunshot not um, some act of terrorism and whatever it is fear and when you want to walk by faith please listen i'm just not saying faith just to receive a miracle the bible says the just shall live by faith say it after me the just shall live by faith that means your exploits and my exploits in the kingdom will be predicated upon my ability to not only engage faith momentarily to receive a result but that it becomes my lifestyle are we together to walk in faith means to walk in understanding to walk in faith means to walk in obedience to walk in faith means to walk in courage all of the aspects that together cause a man to produce results the end of faith is a performance there may be a period between prophecy you're engaging the principles and the manifestation but there should be a performance hallelujah and I have noticed that one of the 
obstacles we don't deal with it because we don't care that destroy a lot of people is the spirit of fear second timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 paul is teaching his son timothy in the gospel and this is what he says for god had not given us stop there for god had not given us the bible is very open about the things god gave us i just read for you the things that he received for us when the bible says god did not give you something and it is at work in your life it means that another personality or agency has communicated that is that true the bible says it didn't say for we don't have it said for god has not given us meaning it is not in the character of god to give men an attribute that will frustrate their faith it is not in the character of god to plant fear in men reverence is not fear reverence is respect the spirit of reverence that the bible calls the fear of the lord but this fear is timidity intimidation the psychological burden that comes as a result of many factors that i'm going to be explaining to you the bible says for god has not given us the spirit of fear so the first revelation here is that fear is a spirit it's not just a psychological thing uh -uh. there is a spirit called the spirit of fear what do you think the assignment of that spirit is to manifest its characteristic in whoever finds himself as the victim is that true when the spirit of poverty is in an individual it will leave out its characteristic when the spirit of infirmity is in an individual it will leave out its characteristic so when the spirit of fear is in an individual the same way when the spirit of power of might is upon an individual you will see the manifestation and the bible says god has not given us this spirit so there is a certain spirit that roams around the earth called the spirit of fear are we together but there are also three kinds of spirits too he says he has not given us so he's dealing with giving spirits here are we together now he's just telling you which spirit he has not given you that i have not given you the spirit of fear and then he says but the spirit of power the spirit of love and the spirit of a sound mind the whole scripture there is talking about spirits that can be given to men so when you see a man exhibiting power there is a spirit behind it when you see love there is a spirit behind it and when you see a sound mind much more than access to information there is a spirit that ensures that your mind attains a level of renewal sufficient to cause the word of god to work in your life there is such a spirit the spirit of a sound mind is what the bible calls the spirit of understanding are we together the bible says it shall make you of quick understanding isaiah 11. why do people fear there is only one reason you will be surprised why satan is so interested in giving us fear first and foremost let me just back up a little and say this i wrote this down and i want us to is I, I wrote here that fear is given and like any other gift it can be received or rejected is that true the bible says as many as received him that means not everybody will receive him but to those who receive him there is an effect he gave them power to become so every time you receive a thing together with that reception is power to become god has not given us that means if another personality satan being the chiefest of them gives us the spirit of fear we have a right to reject it our society is full of men and women who live perpetually in fear many of us seated looking at me now inside outside those following online we live in fear fear has stopped people from sleeping fear has stopped people from going to the hospital to find out what is wrong with them listen carefully fear has stopped people from taking giant strides to get out of poverty 
fear has stopped people from doing things that have never been done is a spirit and this spirit like every other demonic spirit has an assignment are we together now yes just like faith is a spirit it says we then having the same spirit of faith there is a character to faith when that spirit is upon you the spirit of faith has an assignment it empowers you to believe God, to engage the relevant forces as commanded by God and compels God's integrity to speak on your behalf. Is that true? So also the spirit of fear. It can be received. It can be rejected. We fear so many things in our society. We fear success. Interestingly, we fear failure. We fear... Um, traveling from one place to the other we fear bad news we fear all kinds of things there is a spirit all of a sudden you feel a little pain on your legs and here comes the spirit of fear listen now let me show you how this spirit works the spirit of fear will come and say huh, your legs remember the documentary you saw where someone's legs started rotting you see how the spirit of fear takes advantage of your imagination are we together now like the ladies who were sharing their testimony here the spirit of fear some of you are here seated right now probably overflow maybe one two three or online and the devil is planting fear you are too far the anointing will not touch you and you say ah that's true you are seated here now wondering will i receive this is the last miracle service what if god does not visit me manifestations of the spirit of fear There are people who will never make progress in their lives because of fear. There are people who will not travel because of fear. Why does Satan use fear? I want to tell you now. Satan, first and foremost, gives fear to gain access to your imagination and expectation. Listen carefully the primary purpose of fear is satan's way of finding a system where he can reach your imagination and to alter your expectation mm. fear is creative in its operation there's nobody who is afraid without engaging the power of creativity fear will always give you pictures Fear will act dramas in your mind. If you don't have a mind, fear will be powerless in your life. The purpose of fear is that it starts from the realm of the spirit, but then it, it seeks to find expression in your mind to, uh, to get to your faculties of creativity and to begin to alter your imaginations. Listen carefully. And to alter your expectations because Satan knows that it is a law that the thing you hold in your mind truly will come to pass are you seeing the purpose of fear now so when you sit down and you want to enter a room and all of a sudden you are thinking what if i enter and somebody closes my eyes notice how powerful your image even if you are not not to insult you but even if you don't feel you are that smart all of a sudden you are an excellent movie maker you are imagining a hand touching your eyes and it's so real and you just say let me leave you see you acted satan acted a drama and stopped you correct yes this is how the devil has manipulated the destinies of people he may not come directly but he uses fear fear is a powerful spirit let me tell you this every other spirit is helpless until fear prevails i want you to believe this every other spirit joins a queue waiting and hoping most people will not admit that it is fear that is motivating their activities but it is it is yes it is when a student does malpractice what is responsible fear something in that student tells the student look if you go the way you are going for sure you are going to be in hot water and so he begins to fabricate strategies to manage the fear hmm. why do you hear a sound bam 
in your zinc and all of a sudden you are moving and you know sometimes we pray all kinds of prayers that we really think are are faith you know are faith filled prayers but they are simply spiritual ways of saying i am afraid like blood of jesus like holy ghost fire there is holy ghost fire that is real holy ghost fire there is holy ghost fire that what you are saying in the realm of the spirit is lord i'm confused what is really going on here that you mention holy ghost does not mean that is are you saying that now fear <clears throat> i know this very well because i lived in it mm. yes i lived in it fear is dangerous it short circuits your potential there are people who would do greater than they are doing now if only they had the grace and the understanding to overcome fear how does fear work let me show you something job chapter 3 verse 25 this was job's own testimony 3 verse 25 then i'll quickly teach you how fear works is god helping us so we've established that fear is a spirit job chapter 3 and verse 25 we've established the fact that fear is a spirit someone help our children they're really enjoying themselves around and uh... hallelujah job chapter 3 and verse 25 read with me one to read for the thing which i greatly feared stop for what there was an object otherwise fear was not there the thing which i greatly feared did what uh-huh and that which i was afraid of so paul i mean um, job gives fear a magnetic property that when you begin to fear it has an effect it can attract to your life the very thing you are afraid of we fear failure that's why we fail fear is expectation it takes advantage of your imagination you will think you are rejecting it but you think upon it it controls your life what if they now say i have cancer this one that i watched i watched a movie that says eating cabbage is wrong how many of these things are by eating i've gone to the farm eating one whole cabbage by myself maybe i have cancer and then you just think and all of a sudden pain manifests from nowhere pain that should not be there and you just touch and ah what is this boil about and they will say are you joking you better go and read it up you go to google symptoms of cancer enter and you find out many other people like you around the world that fear is prevailing over and they say it can start sometimes it can look like a boy and they will say that's it let me tell you listen 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 while you laugh pay attention you will be surprised a spirit will enter that boil and turn something that you would have squeezed with your hand to a real cancer that thing had no power to become cancerous your partnership with fear active it added a spirit to that thing remember james taught us chapter 2 26 that a body without a spirit is dead that thing was just a body but a spirit entered it and the growth became unusual and all of a sudden i will tell you oh, this is it and you say you see i knew it yeah i've been telling you you are right you have been saying it because whatever you say think upon is what will become your reality the spirit of fear see when you understand what fear is you begin to understand the keys of the kingdom like praise and the things that they do to you is much more than dancing satan attempts to give us fear by causing us to walk in the realm of the flesh the senses satan's domain of operation is the flesh senses now the senses are not wrong they are the physical faculties god has given to find expression but satan will take advantage the bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace to be carnally minded to be ruled by your senses when things work physically you are happy when things don't work well you are angry correct when there is money in your pocket you are joyful you are carnal the bible says you are walking in the flesh you are governed by your sensory perceptions and not by the word of god 
our society is full of people you can almost know when someone has not collected a salary one day past salary time everything about that now i'm not i'm not saying that people should not receive salaries but you can always know even if the person has one million in his account he has been taught to respond to the census so you will know what is wrong what do you mean what is wrong what is today's date and you, you see all of that are we together hmm. we have been taught we have carried our hearts and put them on our faces people can almost predict with no kind of psychological aid you are not feeling happy what's wrong say what do you mean what's wrong yeah? the restaurant is closed you know what is wrong this and that has happened and we justify these things to mean that we have a right to express ourselves we do not know that we walk in the flesh at our detriment satan is the master of the flesh realm when you dwell in the realm of the senses where he can manipulate you using sensory perceptions he will win over you a thousand times are we together the realm of true victory for a spiritual man is being spiritual so every time people see that's why the bible says rejoice in the lord how many times and again i repeat rejoice rejoice so you see someone happy all the time and you're wondering ah, ah now wow this 2017 is really wonderful for you and then the person tells you a story that you'll be surprised do you know that this year they stole my car they stole my house they stole my land and you say this is like your happiest year say i found a revelation that if i reduce myself to the realm of the senses i authorize darkness to prevail over me am i not human should i not cry what is all this nonsense joshua sell my mind yourself you see is this kind of societal talk we think it's a very nice talk it attracts empathy with together with that empathy fear joins them and comes to wreck your life say i refuse to walk by my senses say it again i refuse to walk by my senses i walk by the word of god see you don't you don't respond just when physical things change you respond based on the word of god this is what makes a man spiritual it's not just praying in tongues and lifting wheelchairs it's the ability to have worked with the holy spirit to so discipline your faculties of expression that the effect of the physical realm on your spiritual life is almost is minimal are we together yes when satan would want jesus to talk he would keep quiet legitimate reason to talk and he would keep quiet on the cross you think he would be angry and there he looks and says look father forgive them for they know not what they are doing that's a spiritual man fear thrives upon our carnality our ability to consistently dwell in the realm of the flesh we become victims of the physical environment and i told you this there are too many things brothers and sisters in within one hour in the world we live in today there are too many things that will manipulate you to a point where you no longer trust god are we together just put on the news whether it's the internet radio whatever and you are hearing a sad story are we together call your loved ones and they tell you hey it has happened say what has happened just they just caught the call they call me back first and you're wondering what what is happening now hallelujah listen brothers and sisters responding carnally empowers satan i'm i'm teaching you this you must get this responding to life sensually gives satan an edge over your life i will sing I will praise even in my darkest hour through the sorrow and the pain I will see and I will praise I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I will see that's that's a spiritual man that's a spiritual man don't make 
fear make you an object of pity everybody looks at you and says ah ah oh you are the orphan they talk about you say yes yeah, so my father is late my mother is late i sympathize with you but brothers and sisters there is a way to victory in life kabbalah kotaya the bible says listen it says and this is the victory that overcometh the world even your faith brothers and sisters there is a way we can exempt ourselves in life but the starting point is to conquer fear it's to conquer fear men of god will make you afraid they will attempt to impart their limitations upon you and make it look as if that's how god operates i reject fear in my life i reject fear in my life i have no business with fear the spirit of faith is at work in me oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh victory belongs to jesus victory belongs to him oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. victory belongs to jesus victory belongs to him one more time Listen, Job, Job was a man who there is no human being who will go through what Job went through and not be afraid. In one day, everything, your estate disappears. In one day, seven of your children disappear. In one day, your fortune, everything. And Job sat down as if that were not enough. Boils began to grow. Dogs would come and lick Job. Job was an object of pity. And while he sat down there, the wife looked at him one day and said, Job, is there hope for you? I'm your wife. I said I do, but now I'm Job. I still do, but you, there's, there's nothing you are, it's, it's over. And Job looked and said, Though he slay me, though he slay me, Shapara Kotaya. I searched for an explanation but since I did not find though he slay me yet will I trust him I imagine when Job had double I wonder what his mocker said because I believe they were still alive hmm. let me tell you something I tell you before December ends some of you some people will see you and bend their head because the, the stories they have said listen the things that they have said around you listen hold on and they were right except God intervenes what they have said is so predictable ah but the God who can turn around turn things listen in my little life I don't boast to know God too well but i've seen the bible say oh taste and see brothers and sisters in my little life i have seen this god who can arise right god god my brother when god arises for even you the recipient will sit down and say what is this the bible says when the lord again turn our captivity i have seen families that this year january they were beggars but today give them one million you have insulted them january this year i've seen it i'm not talking of job this is what god can do i've seen people who based on their medical report they should not even reach june they may not share it with others by the privilege of the ministry god has given me i get to talk to people they don't hide anything from me there are times i've seen medical reports that have challenged me myself and i said my god and they come with confidence and say sir i know listen if you don't conquer fear as a man of god you won't go far because i told you God talks to men like he's talking to himself. He will never tell you what you can do. He will tell you what he can do. Is God speaking to someone tonight? 
fear is a spirit yes i know there are nine of you in your family you have watched everybody become a failure as soon as you graduate the devil turns your certificate like tissue paper and then god has been showing you in the dreams like joseph that you will be the savior and you say oh god just let my marriage just work that's all i'm asking and god is saying no don't be like gideon don't be like gideon when he appeared to gideon gideon said no 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 don't talk about me i'm the least in my family coming from the least tribe and god says that's why i'm here the spirit of fear has destroyed businesses the spirit of, let me tell you how the spirit of fear works he uses something that is real in your life as the basis for stopping you to rise high are we together so god says come darling god says i'm going to make you a great lady and then satan reminds you where was god when you were failing yesterday you see how fear works and you first you say no 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 abba god is faithful but later when you sit down you say truly god where were you all because i remember fasting 21 days it was after the 21 days fasting that i failed god where were you that now that i'm not even fasting you are the interesting thing about god eh? let me tell you after a challenging season in your life when god comes he doesn't discuss it he just continues from where he stopped hi this god God told you you'll be in ministry for five years. You have only two members. When God comes, he says, all right, bring the notebook. I spoke to you about three years. Let's continue. I said, God, I want to let you know that two of my members are leaving. You will never hear him answer you. He just says, let's continue. Because you see, in God's word, whether past, present, delay, they mean nonsense to him. A thousand years is one day. So if he says, I am blessing you today, even if it's five years, it still is today. The day his word comes, it will make up for it. Satan uses something obvious. Obvious. Remember the other time you claimed that you, you don't have any sickness. Now you went to the hospital. Were you blind when the doctors were telling now I'm not against doctors, I love them so much. Were you blind when the doctors told you that you don't have a womb? And you are trying to trust God in the name of Jesus. And all of a sudden they bring out the medical report. And you see something that was written there that while you were growing up developing as a lady something happened and altered your womb and there is no possibility for you to even take in and Satan says I rest my case let me tell you what a man of faith will do I know God who is mighty mighty the raw material for creating his re any reality is his word he says through faith we understand we understand that the walls were framed the physical structure was framed by the word of god listen don't think i don't know what i'm saying brothers and sisters we must conquer the spirit of fear if this is all that happens to you tonight even if we round up now it has been a successful service you will go back and wonder i want you to just sit down please sit down and think in one minute what fear has done in your life there are many of us god told you this is your destiny helper go and meet him you were almost there have you seen people like that they knock the office as soon as the man opened god said speak how many brothers i would have entered a very godly relationship but fear stopped them you are almost there and the lady comes and you just pass say no i was picking something on the ground and you go back and say oh god after fasting and praying fear how many businesses should have started and risen but fear keeps them down so many people who would have risen but fear satan manifests fear through different things including men of god including our loved ones they say look uh, my dear i know you are a lady thank god for your ambition i know that that young man has been indoctrinating you people but let me tell you this is how life works eh go on, better go and greet that man when you greet him you know a and b and c and d and then they confuse you and look how many graduates finish from powerful places like zaria and other places one year after they get out of this place when you see them 
all the dreams some of you are ashamed to open the notebooks that you had four five years ago because you don't believe anything you wrote here again gone are the days where you would write anything some of you now your prayer request you have 10 prayer requests but the one on your card is only two because say god let me not disgrace myself again if you do this two for me i'm grateful please pick up your card and write more lord my hair is falling it must stop ah is that god's business god is too busy who told you write it are we together the spirit of fear the spirit of fear life can intimidate us in such a way you you need to see how people laugh at spiritual people when you step out of the church circle you know last week i was i was i was somewhere and then um i was having a discussion with with a, a gentleman and the sarcasm that he had for spiritual things it was like all these church people and he will mimic pastors and laugh and i felt irritated i was just waiting to finish with him is somebody that i came to just to honor and i said let me get out of this place this guy has a, a this all these politicians very lousy sarcasm for you're a politician here i love you but i mean very funny funny attitude towards pastors they make it look like we are joking and some of you that's exactly how you are after you finish jumping here when you step out you now become ashamed of everything you did that's why bloggers write all kinds of things and say men of god turn people to children how can you just be talking like a parrot and a man of god says pray and you are praying and talking like a parrot and we live and fear the fear to sustain your convictions your phone rings in a restaurant jesus is lord and you quickly off it because you don't want to raise any dust here and they say you pastor is you abby and then they start telling you stories about pastors stories about all kinds of people oh you are the sister i was saying you will not marry continue all this sister thing you are doing and when they say it you just sit down feeling guilty for loving and following god shout no way go and read your bible and see the destiny of those who mocked God. From Pharaoh to Nebuchadnezzar to Herod to Jezebel. All of their destinies were a straight line. Predictable. Mark the wicked, the Bible says. Are we together? God has not given us the spirit of fear. Romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21. What is the cure for fear? let's examine the father of faith abraham romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21 please give it to us media the bible speaking about abraham this was a man who was trusting god had received the promise that his seed you know talking about isaac and then christ prophetically it says who against hope now watch the character of faith i've shared with you you can get the teaching the series we've done on faith that the starting point of faith is always the presence of a supposed impossibility that's the starting point of your journey there's no need to have faith over something that is already your experience it says who against hope did what believed in hope that he might become the father of nations according to that which was spoken go ahead and be not weak in faith he considered not this is this is how i want to show you how fear works it begins to bring logic into your faith process put two and two you two use your head apostle is just prophesying and saying before the end of this year you will be a millionaire you have the stupidity to say amen you see that you are considering not just consider you are considering in a doubtful way to believe that that breast lump will just disappear within a few minutes to believe that god would turn around your life bring a helper to your destiny and wipe your tears he considered not that's the first thing the spirit of fear does it makes you to begin to consider you say okay it's not like i don't believe but come on is it not that class i graduated with Abba, let's be real you hear that let's be real i read so 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 i graduated with that class Abba. and you ask your roommate or anybody and say if even if it's you will you employ me he said, i won't employ you let me just tell you the truth i will say my mind you see how people say it and they think it's a very wise statement 
Me, I'll tell you my own church mind. I won't do this and, and that. And then you carry that certificate and look at it and say, God, is this how you are planned to disgrace me? And you drop it back and say, it's over. And God says, ah, ah, you took me out of this equation and you are just being frustrated like that? Considered not. Brothers and sisters, when God speaks to you, take your eyes away from the reasons why it will not come to pass and keep your eyes there. Let God apologize to you for failing you, but on your own part, remain there. Are we together? He considered not his own body. When he was 100 years old, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb, 20. Number two, he staggered not. Staggered not. This is what the Bible calls, Apostle James calls it a double-minded person. Do you know what a double-minded person is? Inventing options as a result of fear. Inventing options. Lord, this is it. I am trusting you. This is what you are going to do. Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm taking this direction. And all of a sudden, because of fear, all of a sudden you start fabricating plan B, plan C, plan D. Some of these things we do and we think they are proofs of wisdom. No, sir. If God tells you, I will make you a nation, brothers and sisters, even if you are inside a hut, believe him. No plan B. Men of faith are those who burn the bridges behind them. Like Esther, if I perish, I perish. This is how I walk with God. There's no possibility of plan B. If God tells me, son, this is how we are going, I say, Lord, let's go. If there is fire there, I remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I walk through that fire. That's what it takes to be a man of faith. Organizing a miracle service like this is suicidal. You must be a man of faith. You don't know the cases and the problems and the challenges that people have. What then gives you the audacity to call nations together and assure them that they will experience the power of God? It takes faith. Are we together? You start a business, it takes faith. Who gave you a guarantee that they will like your products or your services? And you have the audacity to commit funds, commit structures, commit leadership, and then open up and say, okay, the whole world come and be blessed. He staggered not. Some of you are already staggering. Lord, I trust you, but oh, staggered not. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Giving glory. Another word is giving praise. Giving praise. Full of praise. 21, the last verse. This was the third thing that he did. And this is the third thing that fear does. Remember, the first thing fear does is that you begin to consider. Brings logic into your spiritual process. Are we together? Number two is that it causes you to stagger. And then number three, it begins to dwindle your persuasion. The Bible says, I'm being fully persuaded. Conviction. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded it was paul who said i am persuaded that neither life nor death nor this and that and that he i'm being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able now hold on very powerful scripture that what he promised he was also what that means you the, when satan begins to bring fear the first thing that suffers is your revelation of god's ability 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 he uses your senses to attack god's ability listen listen to me um let me use someone come sam now watch this sam if i say i'm going to give you let's say hundred thousand naira, the first thing you do is to look at me in your mind and in whatever parameter and you believe if i say i'm going to give you one million you will look. If I say I'm going to give you 10 million, if I say I'm going to give you 100 million, that's how that conviction will start dwindling. Then if I say, Sam, by next week you're going to carry a private jet, the, your mind will just, there will be no, there's no provision in your mind to believe it. You're not even going to receive it. Are we together? You will respectfully laugh, but the truth is that you don't even believe him. Now, you may not know, 
but that you're laughing it looks like and it's like the kiss of judas a kiss is a good thing until somebody uses it as a strategy to chain you judas kissed jesus and said this is the guy so you can laugh the bible says mary had dwelt good like medicine but that laugh is not a laugh of faith that laugh is a laugh of doubt because you think i wouldn't do it like sarah's laughter are we together now and so when god says sam i'm going to change your life fear comes what does fear do he says look if god said he was going to give you a new shoe it makes sense god can raise somebody in koinonia but god says he's giving you a house by december is his god is god stupid that's fear talking to you and you sit and say i believe a shoe but i don't believe a house then you limit god like they did in the wilderness and only a shoe comes to you and comes to validate the limitation you placed on god but that does not mean he could not give you a house that does not mean he could not build a great destiny for you brothers and sisters tonight as we trust god we're going to do a very quick work here i want you to take away fear from your life fear of finances now that you know the whole recession is on people fear do you know one of the major reasons why people are poor i'm telling you this it's not because they are lazy it's because of the fear of it they think about lack so much they expect it it comes to them all wealthy people are courageous people they believe when god says i'm going to bless you you just sit and think and say which of my uncles uncle james poor uh, uncle silvanus poor the other my father's younger brother poor oh god how are you going to now help me you see that my elder brother that was working in january they now sacked him god i will hundred thousand come and god looks at you and says with all you have been learning in koinonia this is how much you believe me but there are people who will say lord whether i believe you or not there's no option so now i'm, I'm i trust you do anything you can do and all of a, a sudden strangers will come and feed your flock and say i don't know you sister but while koinonia was going on you even you just look at it and say no, no no don't be afraid god just told me please come and see me in my office tomorrow and he said what is he said god gave me an instruction gone are the days where people get testimonies and say god told somebody to do this you know there used to be times like that where god is now you don't hear those things because we don't believe it we have brought carnality to our lives you don't ever believe god directs men we believe satan sends men but we don't believe god directs men i want you to live in that reality where you believe reject fear my sister my brother hear me reject fear satan prevails over your life with fear brothers and sisters especially our gentlemen fear of establishment when will i get how much is one bag of nangotesement and you start calculating you are considering that's fear it does you are not planning that one is not planning planning is correct you are putting a plan to dance around it and rejoice but fear now say use your brain how much is one one plot of land you see that you now put it how much is two plots how much is a good car how much is dowry how much is is a, a furniture when you calculate everything you say according to my modest calculation is nine million and you laugh you just throw it away and say look let me just thank god you think that was an act of faith a man of faith says lord i do not know how the wind will come kabbalah kataya I don't know how the rain will come but i learned from scripture that you received for me power listen let me teach you there is a way you can frustrate satan you stagger not lord i don't know how it will happen but i know satan wants to bring something another scripture just wells up ah. But is it not God that you trusted yesterday that you fell? remember not the former things that's why you must be full of the word to walk in faith that every time satan comes it is written shoots out of you like an arrow it is written it is written it is written ah, when you failed yesterday where was god and then he says for your shame i will give you double good reply for a spirit is it not you that everybody saw you and left you 
just looked at you and said you are a nobody and the bible says where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations with the limitation how are you going to go abroad are you not seeing if you ever if you go around the embassy they will so kick you out of that place and you sit down and remember joseph that he was in the prison and the bible says and the king not the king's aid the king himself sent for him kings can send for mean men and transform their lives hmm. when you are not full of the word when pressure pushes at you all that will come out is culture all that will come out is all of these things brothers and sisters god is going to do a quick work tonight is our last miracle service but i want you please and please i want you to join me believe this god he is believable he is reliable are you hearing what i'm saying god can change the stories of people please do not let anyone mock you oh, we are in a strange season where god is changing people's lives overnight overnight this overnight dimension i know in my spirit that people are entering it overnight when you see someone who was already on his way to being successful it's not strange but somebody overnight is saul also one of the prophets what happened to him overnight saul i thought you were looking for your father's donkey and saul says i encountered samuel and an anointing came upon me and all of a sudden things started happening hallelujah god did something in my life today that almost brought tears out of my eyes i just sat down and i i almost fought tears and fought tears and i said god you are dependable you are truly dependable brothers and sisters i want to bring you to a realm where after you leave this you will never say one thing in church and say another you don't have to fight with people when people come with their sarcasm just keep quiet a settled reality if i die trusting him i die but god is able somebody say god is able say it again god is able all our problems as human beings can be classified into seven categories and only seven categories i won't go there because of time but the the challenges we are facing are not new it's from health am i right to money to breakthrough to deliverance to all of these things which one of them does not have a representation in the word of god is it your rent is it the time of famine are we together is it the breakthrough is it the limitations brothers and sisters my god is able my god is able i don't know about your own god but my god is able i believe him and i'm not going to give room for the devil listen listen this scientific christianity we must we must rise beyond that realm of science and trust god tell me how the clouds stay without a pillar nobody has ever renovated the cloud to readjust it stays by itself hmm. god spoke to job tell me how you can give the rivers borders and say thus far have you come no further shall you go this is the god we serve if you doubt if god can look men look at my life look at my life brothers and sisters I came tonight to challenge you to believe this God. You can sit down and continue arguing and laughing at those who are engaging their faith and turn and see that you are 40 years, 45, and there is no result whatsoever because it never happens by magic. Blessed is she that believes, both in the open and in the secret. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her alone there shall be a performance this christianity that you trust god in the open and then in the secret you laugh you are sarcastic no no i believe him i believe him he has earned my trust i believe him i believe him i believe him tonight to heal the sick i believe him tonight to cast out devils i believe him brothers and sisters i know that you may have gone through several things some of us here there are dreams that have died you have buried it but i want you to rise up again and to tell yourself i will make it take it down for me let's sing one song before 
we disgrace the devil in this place. What's that song? Um, you don't have to worry. You know the song? And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles may not last away. Listen to the song carefully. Who will wipe your tears away? And if your heart is broken, Shabala Kataya, just lift your hands. Hey, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. I know that I can stand. No matter what, no matter what, may come my way. way. With Jesus I can make it. With Jesus I With can Jesus make it. With Jesus I can make it. With Him I know I can stand. With Him I know I can stand. No matter what, may come my way. My life is in Your hands. Hallelujah. Listen, there is no giving up in this kingdom. There is no, did you hear what I said? There is no giving up in this kingdom. I want you to go back to the archives of the things you have left and say, Lord, I'm taking it back. That dream, that business. I started it by January, by March, I was crying. But at your word, I'm going back again. I'm going back. You are faithful. Let them laugh at you, you know. Hold on, please. I was studying, um, I think it was last week or so. I was just studying a video on the great inventors the top was it 10 or 20 inventors in our world you know right from the time recorded history and i was reading through their lives one by one i only got to number five or six and i stopped and i told myself i said joshua selman don't you ever complain again i said my god why didn't they teach us the obstacles that these men had to cross why do we approach our lives as though something unusual happened go and read about their lives the history makers and see how they smash records when people told them you will not make it they said my life's goal is to prove to you and many of them were christians brothers and sisters the bible says that unto principalities and powers that it will be shown the manifold wisdom the manifold wisdom you don't look like it but that's why it's called his grace you don't look like it until his hand comes upon you and they say why you and you say go and ask him oh go and ask him go and ask him i'm motivating somebody and i'm speaking to you let me tell you something brothers and sisters god is dependable kill fear in your life when we start to pray i like you to pray with all your heart and as you pray i like you to trust god you may feel the pain of the sickness but as you pray you warn it and say just a few minutes i will only be patient with you for a few more minutes and you are leaving my body and living forever you may not be sick in your body but you have myriads of issues that only god can step in financial issues health issues i like you to bring it before the god of your salvation and say god i know you are able oh. I don't know how you would do it witchcraft in your family demonic things and say lord it will end i know it i know it no job no destiny no joy you say i'm i'm before you i'm not before a herbalist i know my god is able open your mouth in one minute personally talk to him if you have to talk to him in your language go ahead <laughs> those outside pray lord i believe you once again hallelujah i believe you once again the god of my salvation the God of Jeshuron, I believe you again for my family. I believe you again for my academics. 
I believe you again for my marriage. I believe you again for my children. I believe you for my finances. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. You are dependable. You are reliable. Talk to him. Tonight is a night where my dreams are coming alive again that anointing that ministry that business in the name of jesus in spite of the mockery in spite of the shame in spite of the mistakes in spite of the setbacks in spite of the failure i arise like a giant rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet will i rise yet will i rise my god is still alive i know his name jesus the son of the living god pray i came to him the one who can change my life change my ministry You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here wiping every tear. I worship you. I worship you. Way maker, miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. That is who you are. Way maker, way maker. Listen, listen to me. Don't ask how it will happen. When I stepped in, I heard, I heard, I think it was Mary. I have followed the issue of her dad. When some of us here are related to police people and all of that i'm just using her story for an illustration when she told me about the miracle that happened i said god i fear you because what was happening they were supposed to shoot and kill her dad that's the punishment for the supposed offense but when he steps in this is my god god is not a man no god is not your neighbor god is not a landlord god is not a president he's not a governor god is not an ambassador God all by himself when he steps in all of a sudden he begins to shift things listen brothers and sisters hear me I want you to believe God to shift things this is this is my assignment believe him to push things in your life in one minute I like you to mention every challenge you came here with and say Lord I believe you you will change it go ahead Go ahead and pray lord i believe you you will change my financial situation lord i believe you you can send helpers my way men are still on earth lord i believe you you can lift me lord i believe you you can give my life speed if you came here for this service tonight, pray. Pray. I believe you. <laughs> Hello, him out of night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. 
ลมที่มาตรงนายได้อีกคำคำได้เฮลโลฮิมะดงนาเฮลโลฮิมะดงนาจะคิดคิดคำาได้วิลพิดาเฮลโลฮิมะดงนาเฮลโลฮิมะดงนาจะคิดคิดคำคาเฮลโลฮิมะดงนาเฮลโลฮิมะดงนาฮัลเลลูยา Tonight is the last miracle service for the year. Please, I don't want you to miss out on anything. There is a very, very strong anointing to bring performance. Performance. Listen, listen, listen to me, please. Now, you see, because of the nature of the miracle service, some of you want. I may not be able to call everybody one by one to speak to you. The purpose of calling is just to give the Holy Spirit room to address as He brings. But let me tell you this: I've told you again and again, calling people and talking and all of that is—you can see how how much time sometimes can be spent talking to one person. The most important thing is that your faith is released to say, "Lord, turn my life around." Listen, don't pray a cheap. Prayer tonight, Lord, turn everything around 180 degrees. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Bala k o t a s i a Let my life change. It is within your power to make it happen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Now listen. We are going to start tonight praying for the sick first. There is a very strong healing anointing in this place, and we are going to pray for the sick, brothers and sisters. I want you to believe God that any demonic thing that has latched onto you, it must leave you. Sickness is not the will of God. Not near it. Are we together? Sickness is not the will of God, and shortly I'm going to be asking sick people to come out in all of the overflows. I want us to focus on sick people and pray. All the other things we can do a quick work, but it takes a lot of time to minister to the sick, and we are going to do this very fast. But I want you to maintain an attitude of prayer. But before then, I want you to lift your hands, please. I want to pray. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. We're coming there, but I have to pray. I have to pray for breakthrough. Hallelujah! Just keep your hands. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. Hallelujah! Keep your hands, please. Let's just walk with the Spirit of God. Breakthrough. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Now, when when you hear me say this, it's not just about those who fall under the anointing and shout. The falling under the anointing is just an evidence. It, it doesn't. It, it has totally nothing about. It's for you to receive. It doesn't mean that you see someone fall under the anointing and say, "Wow, this is the one God is touching." No, I'm teaching you how to receive. You receive by faith. It has nothing to do with falling or not falling. Are we together now? You receive by faith. What is breakthrough? The grace that smashes the limitations that stands before you, so that you move forward. There is a grace. That does that. I want to pray for you now, Jesus. I see fire. That's what I'm seeing. This is this is. I'm, I don't know what kind of flame, what color this is now, but I'm seeing that grace inside and outside right now. I stretch my hands. It's coming on people right now. Receive it now. Don't worry. I stretch it. Just keep your hands lifted. Right now, it's coming on people. 
overflow one two three right uh, those online is a grace don't say anything just lift your hands that grace is coming on people i'm telling you i'm seeing doors these are like doors I, i've seen this many times but these are like chains chains doors opening i'm stretching my hands to you right now let's just allow god to do what he's doing shabakata the breakthrough grace the breaker anointing changing people's lives changing people's lives changing people's lives right now in the name of jesus receive it all over this building all over the overflows all over the overflows enough is enough enough is enough of those challenges thank you jesus thank you jesus keep your hands lifted don't worry we're going to do a, a quick walk god is bringing something he's still bringing breakthrough and the lord is telling me to tell those people that this grace is coming upon i'm hearing in my spirit december 2nd this is from now till that time december 2nd a strange walk strange walk of the spirit strange walk the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace you don't have to bring them out we're going to ask the sick to come just hold them breakthrough grace i stretch my hands breakthrough grace there are families that must enter this anointing now enough is enough said the spirit of god there are families that must enter this anointing i provoke that grace let it cross borders in the spirit and go to families families shabatakata families lord bring them into this grace families the overflow three i'm seeing god touch a lot of people there this breakthrough anointing overflow three overflow three there is a strange move of the spirit happening there god is touching people this breakthrough anointing many of us need breakthrough we don't even know we need it impossibilities turning impossibilities turning breakthrough breakthrough let's just allow that grace land and we'll pray for the sick breakthrough you will be surprised to see the testimonies that will rise from it breakthrough i stretch my hands again breakthrough that grace that grace that grace shabata skapara shubreskelea breakthrough that breakthrough grace I'm seeing a few people, I'm seeing fire rising from their feet. This is still breakthrough. This is still breakthrough. F fire rising like from a man's legs upward. Fire. At least 17 people I'm seeing scattered across. In the name of Jesus, let it rise. Lord, their destinies are at the mercy of these encounters. Let's just participate and allow the Lord do what he's doing. Parakota Segedekata Sholeasa Mabreketea is a river that fire burning every chaff is a year of triumph. It must happen to you. It must happen to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray for the sick. I'm praying for the sick first because the Lord is going to move in a very, very prophetic way in this place tonight. And I want us to pray for the sick very fast. Now watch this. Please, if you're sick in your body, you came here for a miracle. Overflow, uh, let's see, those in overflow one, those under the anointing, just let them be. Those in overflow one, you're going to come out here. Um, okay, inside i'm part of overflow too the ones at the roadside maybe half of it you can join them and come here if you are trusting god for a terminal disease now a terminal disease is something that is somewhat a death sentence please whether you are in overflow one two or three i want to lay hands on you by myself a terminal disease 
a term in, that means something that is a death sentence you know maybe uh, hiv aids or a cancer or something like that and please don't just come let's not crowd this place there are ministers that are going to be ministering overflow one come um out at your projector stand inside here come out part of overflow two join them and then the remaining go to the front of your projector outside overflow three i want all of you to come up and we're going to pray very very fast it's going to be a very quick walk god bless you quickly please come now you're coming out come and line up here quickly quickly overflow one please come out quickly while they are doing that i like us to begin to pray and say father let every sickness represented here bow to the name of the lord jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray let every sickness bow to the name of the lord your people have come to you the healer as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus listen I want you to believe God for miracles so that you can be perfectly whole to serve the Lord you must reject sickness from your life hallelujah praise the Lord please pass away Jimmy um let's see you go to overflow three you and promise overflow three i think there should be many more people if there are many more people there then we may add some other people um Ejimi and promise will go to overflow three um pastor alpha you are at overflow two um benga and kenny you'll be at overflow one outside mike you join um whoever is you know going to overflow too i think that that would be okay those online release your faith go ahead guys in the name of jesus father we decree and declare let the corporate grace of the spirit flow in this place let there be signs and wonders through your holy son let there be miracles in the name of jesus let there be signs let there be wonders in jesus name i pray now please listen i don't want you to be distracted remain in that prayer mode as we pray for you i want you to check yourself i want you to do what you couldn't do even as you return to your seat and whilst they are praying god bless you guys go ahead no go fine praise the lord and as soon as we pray then we're going there will be massive deliverance and prophecy here i want us to be as fast as possible the worship team will set the atmosphere for us please everyone i want you to pray you may be seated where you are you are trusting god for the healing of a loved one let's trust the healing anointing and let's let's tap into what god is doing right now father we give you all the praise let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ Father, we thank you. Let there be miracles. As 
sweet joy to hear you pray. The words you speak turn things around. The words you turn things around. Your arms stretch out. I see it dead me. You took them away. The chains and cords. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Justina. Our time is gone. Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. We're going to enter a very strong session um, of deliverance and prophecy. We have to be very fast. I'm trying to conserve time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Justina. What's your name? Justina. You had this song that they just raised now. This song now, my beautifier. That's a song for you. That's what God is doing in your life. Stand up. You know how you make a woman up? Maybe when there's wedding or there's a program. 
I'm looking at plenty ladies gathering around you and they are doing all these things for your face. Hmm? This is, this is, are you married? God is opening the door of marriage for you. Hmm? In the name of Jesus Christ. Justina, Mama? Thank you, Mama. Uh, Justina. Justina. Mama. Pray for you. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something like oil being put on you. I stretch my hands towards you and I decree and declare, let that anointing come upon your life. Change your story forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Madam, what's your name? Ma? Justina. Justina. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing this woman. I'm seeing you holding a man. You are walking and later on I see you walking alone. Where's your husband? He's dead, son. Yes. Yes. He's what? He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead, you mean? Yes, um, I want to pray for you. Don't be afraid. Because I'm seeing something that looks like the face of your husband calling you to come. That's not your husband. That's a demon spirit. I have to pray. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. Madam, I want to pray for you. Are we together now? Mm. So I'll lay my hands in the name of Jesus. I avert death from your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything bringing your husband's face to call you is not love. He's dead. He's gone. In the name of Jesus, I separate you. Mama. The Lord is going to... I, I've, I've known this madam and the case in their family, but... There is a yoke of suffering. This is the first time God is showing me this. Wahala. Mm? And God is going to take it away. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know about her daughter's issue. I've been following up with the family. But I look at this woman and the Lord said there is a cause of hardship. Nothing that anybody does really, really works. It must turn later on. And there are many people like that. Well, soon I'm coming to you. That thing must leave you. I told you about this hardship. Hardship is one of the major reasons people don't smile. Hardship. It's more than poverty. Praise the Lord. My mind, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord himself locate you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Your name is Josina? Where is she? Where is she? Okay, your mother and your younger sister. In the name of Jesus. The prayer I want to pray for you now. I can't remember which miracle service, but please just help Mama. She's under the anointing. Get a chair or something. Someone donate your chair. Let her sit down and calm down. God is doing something in her family. Just keep her somewhere, please. I've prayed it before, but the Lord is saying I should tell you again that your family is entering a season of reward. It's entering a season of reward. It's entering a season of reward. The Lord himself will make it happen. I'm hearing affinity, 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 affinity. Please make sure it's your name. What's your name? The affinity I'm talking about is here somewhere. Um, you're younger. I'll pray for you. Affinity. This person is outside. Affinity. The Lord is telling me there's somebody outside. Affinity. If I could appear here as God, what I would tell you based on what I've seen is congratulations. God is going to do something in your life that will surprise you. How many prayer requests did you write? Six. Go outside. Read number four very well. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you a finicky? Father, in the name of Jesus, visit this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. This lady, this one, my sister, you, looking at me, come. Please, let's, let's save time. I don't want us to stay here too long. Is this your first time here? You've been coming here. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Kai, what I'm seeing is not good. Hmm? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing... You know the horn of a calf. 
That's what I'm seeing on you. And we have to pray. I'm not saying you're a demon. You get what I'm saying? This is your miracle service is where God sets us free. Hold my hands. Hold it. Hold it with both of your hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, please set this lady free. There are many things wrong, but the Lord is bringing order in the name of Jesus Christ. I hold your hands now and I judge the horns of wickedness. The horns of wickedness. If I don't pray for you, your life is going to be full of suffering and strange disappointment from men. In the name of Jesus, Zebrakatos Calabriata. I command by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be deliverance for you now. I lay my hands on your head and I decree and declare that everything you are carrying that is not of the Christ, I command it to leave you now. And I pray that every legal access upon which the devil is attempting to destroy your life, I plead the blood on your behalf right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Agnes, 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 Agnes. There's someone with that name. Agnes. 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 Agnes, I wish I had time. Kai. Agnes, you are Agnes. You're what? Who is Agnes here? Who is Agnes? Your mother gave you Agnes. Who is that? Your name is Agnes. Your name is Agnes. I'll pray for you, but I'm seeing Agnes and the Lord. Your Agnes, your mother, are they sisters? Yeah, they are Who is this? It's their wife, they are all sisters. Three of them are sisters. Who is this? She's their brother's wife. She, I'm looking at this, and the Lord is saying, Let's avert. I'm looking at this picture, it's empty, but I'm saying, Rest in peace. Huh? Lord Jesus, by your mercy, she lit. She's alive. I'm not a prophet of doom. I hope you understand. When I see this, is is the Lord trying to avert something. I avert tears from your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you that the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name. There is an impartation that God is giving you. God is bringing you into a dimension of the anointing. It's, it's a strange level of grace that you are going to enter into. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that by this grace, He's going to lift you to a dimension that you have never seen. It will make you a light. I'm seeing a torchlight shining. And the Lord is saying, this is your destiny to come with great illumination. In the name of Jesus, your Agnes, two of you, as I lay my hands on you, whatever the issue is, the Lord is stepping in right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 <sighs> Jesus. How time flies. See, these are some of the things that before you know it, just talking to people and it's already 10 and there is a lot to do right now because we're going to, we're going to pray. There are people who are going to go through very massive deliverance. My sister, this sister holding photos. Come. Come. Yes. Come now, my dear. Kai, uh, I have to pray for you. What I'm seeing, who is this one again? Agnes. Agnes. Madam, you're Agnes. I have to pray for you. Uh, uh, where are you coming from? Stretch your hands and pray that this woman will not die. I kept looking at her because I'm seeing burial ceremony happening and I'm seeing her same face inside the coffin. What is this thing with this spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ? Please pray. You may not know how it doesn't matter. In the name of Jesus, we avert death. Hallelujah. Father, I lay my hands on this madam and in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that your grace will preserve her by the power of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. My dear, I want to pray for you. Are you married? Look at me. Look at me. 
I want to pray for you. There is serious bad luck in your life. You know what they say? Bad luck. Bad luck that at least if some things are happening and other things are not happening, but when there is nothing at all happening in your life, it's not good. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. May the God of all grace, may the God of mercy step in right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of God's grace. Come, darling. Come. This small girl. I keep seeing this girl again and again. God is going to use this girl in a very mighty way. In a very mighty way. Believe me, this forget that you are seeing a little girl. God is going to use her in ways that will surprise people. Father, use this lady beyond imagination. In the name of Jesus, let her experience your grace and your power. In the name of Jesus. Your grace and your power. In the name of Jesus. There was a man and a woman that were sitting in front here, just where I'm standing. Like an elderly man, one, one gentleman and a lady. Where are they? Please look for them. Are you together? come how are you sir can i pray for you your your first time here this is your first time from where from abuja i want to pray for you god is going to change your story i saw these scenes when i came up it's just that now the lord said minister to them i don't know you never seen you but i want to pray for you let me tell you sir except the lord builds a house they labor in vain hmm? except the lord builds a house it doesn't mean I'm, I'm what do you do I'm seeing contract it will be like it's coming but then it will disappear is that true yes one of the major things I brought you here because you are very skilled and you are very good there was you are supposed to have been a multi-millionaire since last year there is a big contract that God would have given you but for some reason the thing just went even you is still surprising you how that thing did not work is that true you you thought you offended the person you worked with because I noticed it's like you are communicating, then communication broke. There's no communication. Yes. Is that true? I want to pray for you. You believe God can change stories. You heard what I said here. What's your relationship? Oh, you are the wife. Wife, God is about to visit your family. In, say amen. In remarkable ways. You are an architect. You believe what I'm telling you? Look, let me tell you something. You see, brothers and sisters, we're going to pray, but this thing eh, is not by power and by might one two is not by hustling are we together it's not by just god uses men but blessings don't come from men they come from god through men to you i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ you have children how many is that all Don't be embarrassed. I usually will not. You saw that I kept quiet, Abi, huh? Because I'm hearing the cry of a baby, and I'm seeing a hospital, and I'm seeing it's a baby girl. This is what I'm seeing. You see, I'm not. <laughs> I hope I'm not messing two of you up. Oh, you have wonderful couples that came in peace for the issue of finances, but then, please don't be surprised. Whatever happens, God is in control. It's the will of God, eh? Um, two children is not what because what I'm seeing you will be surprised I don't want to say this thing in public you said you have two children okay we'll see and then we'll talk about that eh? so that we don't uh... but in the name of Jesus hold my hands the Lord is going to honor you father lift this man up in the name of Jesus I release an anointing enter a strange level of favor you came from Abuja in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of jesus christ madam as i pray for you the lord is going to open doors of favor beyond your imagination step into that dimension in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ lift your hands the guys outside are still there with them okay please um we have a few minutes and i want to pray seriously i want to God is going to be visiting people in very strange ways right now. Are we together? Please, I like your heart to be connected. There are everything that is sitting on anyone's destiny. I'm going to pray. 
and as i begin to pray i want you to believe god for a miracle a miracle come the lord keeps speaking to me about this lady's family that this family he will not rest until this family enters her rest that's what the lord is telling me praise the lord lift your hands sharp record to superior listen when we pray like this it's not just some jamboree to see people manifest now that's not the idea but that there are spirits there are spirits lady look at me shift please Osha, shift let me talk to that lady just tap her let her see me and noise her hold on just where you are lift your hands i'm seeing something crying and jumping out of you i stretch my hands let it leave you now and leave you forever in the name of jesus brothers and sisters let me tell you spirits are real they take advantage 90 percent of people's challenges are caused by the presence of spirits and when we pray like this much more than the manifestation it is god visiting you to separate you from the obstacles that's really it you may come with 10 prayer requests caused by one spirit and just that spirit leaving you you go back and you see testimonies are we together lift your hands i want to pray jesus at the count of three please i want you to shout jesus please just if you can just clear the aisles for me it's going to be very 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 serious right now few minutes please let's be patient this is the last miracle service and let god do what you will do now at the count of three i want you all to shout the name jesus we do this every time not as a ritual it is a name that is above all names that every power and every force that dares to sit upon anyone's life manipulating the outcomes of your physical results in the name of jesus as you shout jesus inside outside may that fire begin to locate men are you ready now at the count of three one two three i command judgment on every strange spirit in the name of jesus please bring them out in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that every force sitting on anyone's destiny it's time for you to let them go by the power that is in the name of jesus inside and outside i command judgment on the wicked lift your hands one more time we're going to shout jesus lift your hands at the count of three the spirits of ancestry sitting on families that you will not rise let them go now one two three go 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 i open the door and i command you to leave them now leave your destinies now lift your hands i want to pray the bible says he has redeemed us from every tribe and every tongue and every nation but there are spirits that are rejecting it listen i'm seeing people in dreams having all kinds of intercourse with strange spirits and you wake up in the morning with bad luck you go to bed and a spirit human or animal entities i'm seeing it at the count of three something will happen to you that will set you free one two three shout jesus let them go release their destinies now strangers of the night strangers of the night i command you let them go lift your hands i'm still praying we're still praying 
I don't know why God is showing me dreams. Dreams. Destiny is manipulated through dreams. Manipulated through dreams. You are going to shout that name again. Fire will come on you. And that will be the end of it. Everyone here whose dream has been hijacked. And the devil is bringing wars to your life. At the count of three. Be free now. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Lift your hands. I want to destroy patterns. What happened to you happened to your brother. What happened to your mother happened to your father. They raped your mother. They are now raping you. They destroy your father. They are now destroying you. No way. In Christ, the Bible says we have been separated. Let me tell you. Hold on. Many of you, the power of God will come upon you from this prayer. There are strange patterns. Abnormal coincidences that bring war to people's lives. Lift your hands. When it's time to shout, shout it with all your heart. My God and my King. I ask that you move like a mighty man and destroy patterns patterns at the count of three one two three be destroyed patterns patterns i curse you in the name of jesus hallelujah please i like you to be sensitive there is a strong anointing god is doing a quick work very few minutes i don't know why god does it but he gives me that direction that as i begin to move around many things happen at once deliverance impartation several things just happen listen whatever your challenge is i want you to just it's not about me there are angelic just leave them that in the name of jesus as i walk around very fast god is going to step in and the power of god if there is anything unresolved as i pass your row i want you to believe the god of heaven is stepping stepping over your life right now stepping over your life in the name of jesus that anything that is yet to be settled i stretch my hands now right now let the anointing of the holy ghost begin to settle people in the name of jesus i command it i command it everything everything that is not of god of this role everything i cost you i cost you now in the name of jesus i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now be free in the name of jesus lift your hands i decree i decree i'm seeing chains chains on this road lose them now lose them now lose them now lose them now by the anointing of the holy spirit lose them now be sensitive as the anointing comes to you is bringing you out now in the name of jesus 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 hallelujah listen those of you outside i want you to be sensitive our time is gone but we're going to be very fast as i pass your row many of you will see that the anointing of the spirit will come on you the lord is bringing breakthrough in the name of jesus right now let there be breakthrough from the front row right down as i walk through in the name of jesus i stretch my hands miracles breakthroughs right now by the anointing of the spirit receive it right now receive it i open closed doors god is opening someone's doors here i command doors be open doors be open just believe by faith doors be open doors be open as i come close to you the anointing of the holy ghost the anointing of the holy ghost is bringing that miracle right now 
let it be over let it be over i stretch my hands let it be over in the name of jesus let it be over in the name of jesus this last miracle service my sister your tears are over that's what the lord is saying your tears are over the mighty god is moving on your behalf please lift your hands i command it receive right now receive right now an anointing is coming on people receive right now believe by faith receive right now change their stories change their stories change their left and right left and right the holy ghost is touching people over over captivity over as i come to your role believe by faith i stretch my hands somebody in this road your destiny has been tied i lose you now i lose you now i lose you now the anointing of the spirit is coming on you wherever you are i lose you now receive it right now in the name of jesus bad luck bad luck leave him now over over forever over forever over the lord is asking me to stretch my hands on this road i stretch my hands receive that grace right now receive that grace receive that grace by the anointing of the spirit i cast this devil out of him now in the name of jesus there's somebody here the lord is saying open the door of marriage i open it i don't know who that is receive the anointing now receive the anointing now now please those of you in this will take note i'm seeing an anointing there is a great man of god that god is raising here out of this row this row here an anointing is coming on someone a strange grace please help them in the name of jesus you will never never be the same never be the same god is solving people's problems it has taken 10 years but i'm solving it the lord is saying it has taken 10 years but i'm solving your problem lady look at me the lord is wiping your tears that's what the lord is saying is over 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 by the spirit over by the spirit for your family over over by the spirit in the name of jesus please i want you to receive by faith believe someone is being healed here god is taking away a family sickness a pattern let it go now this row i'm standing on please believe release your faith in the name of jesus i'm standing here and i'm hearing a new song a new song god is giving some presence here a new song receive it right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus please believe my dear look at me lift your hands this lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands here i'm seeing the number 11 lord everyone that must enter their destiny here i separate you from witchcraft now 11 people right now there's someone in the media stand around the media there i'm seeing like lights just entered you and you are rising to a new dimension i saw someone at the media stand i've seen two people at the, the minister's row the minister's row the lord is touching them two people a strange anointing for speed i'm stretching my hands here right now and in the name of jesus i decree and declare i decree and declare step into that dimension of your destiny hallelujah please everyone very quickly our time is up i want you to lift your prayer request pass it to the last person quickly quickly please our time is up let's let's just be please be patient with me we'll be done in a jiffy but we need to do this a very quick walk it doesn't matter where i stand i don't have to stand in front just leave please ushers very quickly coordinate yourselves and collect them just lift it pass it to the last person and that last person lift it up please lift it up so that the ushers can collect everyone say after me in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus 
I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that between now and the end of this year every prophetic word over my life must come to pass lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice don't look at me pray I decree and I declare that between now and December every prophetic word that has been decreed every prophetic word that has been decreed must come to pass every prophetic word that has been decreed where are the ushers they should collect you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray every prophetic word say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the grace for extraordinary results I receive it right now lift your voice and pray please pray as you are praying you are receiving it in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare please pray it pray it with faith a manifestation say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every human agent that needs to partner with God to take me to the place of destiny I call you into my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and declare in the name of Jesus Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every dormant gift, every dormant ability within me that should bless me but is not yet activated, I activate it by the anointing. Lift your voice and pray. Every dormant gift, every ability. every dormant gift every ability by the anointing of the Holy Ghost activated say in the name of Jesus the grace for supernatural direction into the will of God for my life I receive that grace now open your mouth and pray the grace for direction into the accurate will of God two more prayer points Say in the name of Jesus, I take authority over the spirit of fear in my life, in my family. I decree and declare that I no longer fear. Lift your voice and pray. I curse the spirit of fear. Fear of the future, fear of death, fear of sickness. last prayer point in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every dimension 
of the anointing that must come upon me for the next season i open up my spirit and i receive it into my life lift your voice and pray the anointing is the difference the anointing is the difference hallelujah now very quickly i want you to stretch your hands you've heard the testimonies that come from this this is a mystery that god gave those online i want you to stretch your hands from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from just whether it's your device whatever just believe by faith families gather together and we're here praying we're believing god the god of all flesh i want you to stretch your hands here as I bow my knees to the God of heaven and pray on these requests in the name of Jesus Christ all I want you to be saying is Lord everything I've dropped here I pick it up as a testimony are we together open your mouth and pray I decree and declare in the name of Jesus please make sure all the requests are here make sure that the requests are here Please pray. I pick it up as testimonies. Are you praying? Lekata pakoroto soto prekete shakata kata parakatos. Turn it around, oh God. Turn it around, oh God. Impossible situations. Turn it around, oh God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare that the same way I'm stepping on this request, that's how you rise above every challenge here. no matter how impossible the situation is i agree with you whether it is academic career marital financial whatever it is we release our faith to the god of all flesh and we command that the requests are turned to testimonies someone is saying god can you do it for me before december yes sir yes sir yes sir I decree and declare this is what the Lord is ministering to me someone is saying Lord I know you would do it but can you do it before December in the name of Jesus may my God surprise you there are issues here that ordinarily would take years to be done but in the name of Jesus before this year listen you will not enter 2018 with this request in the name of jesus i decree and declare i know you didn't apply for the job and you've been hearing people say they get jobs supernatural i don't know whether you believe it or not but i stand on your request and i release a miracle for you in the name of jesus christ i release a miracle for you please i want you to receive it as i speak over your finances this finance thing you see there is the prophetic dimension of wealth 
don't ever join any naysayer to believe that when God helps you financially, it doesn't advance your life. People who talk those things are either ignorant or wicked. Are we together? Many people are grounded almost forever purely because of finances. This finance thing can punish you and disgrace you again and again. I decree and declare every financial shame represented in anyone's life here by prophecy in the name of jesus may your story change like day and night if there is any one of you that wrote any request that has to do with a financial miracle i stand in the name of jesus my god and my king the one who has helped this ministry before december ending in the name of jesus I put laughter in your mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. If you are here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, before this year ends, you will confirm that you are already pregnant. In the name of Jesus. Listen. I'm prophesying for anybody here you have prepared yourself but this job thing has refused to come in the name of Jesus whether there is space or not one is created here and you are put there in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare by the spirit of the living God everyone in need of direction clear direction that you are saying lord where do i settle where do i go to do i do business do i get a job in the name of jesus before this weekend wraps up in the dream of a night may my god come to you and visit you In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray for you. The visions you saw by January, not one of them has happened now. And you are wondering, I'm seeing someone, you have a list of 10 things, not prayer requests, 10 things that you agreed with God at the beginning of this year, not one has happened. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, all 10 must happen before the end of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of us are in situations where you cannot help yourself. You need a helper. This is a, a helper. Somebody to just come and lift you. I don't know who taught you that God doesn't send men to help men. Listen, let me tell you. This is a wicked world where nobody helps you on his own. But my brother, my sister, when God points you and asks men to help you, to surprise you, the God who has helped me. I have seen small of God's grace in this help. Oh, I pray for you, Ebenezer, the one that helps men. May my God help you. May my God help your ministry. May my God help your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, as you're standing here, everything caused struggle in your life. You are waving it goodbye tonight in the name of Jesus. Listen, I know some of you don't believe it. That's why you will not see it. But for those who believe it, I say it again. That anything called struggle in the name of Jesus Christ. The same way when the sun comes out, it dries the water that is on a wet cloth. I pray that may God arise and wipe every tears. anyone here saying oh god don't just visit me alone come through for my family i pray for you there are families the kind of breakthrough they need is only god that can give them i ask that god to give them now in the name of jesus christ
all of you here in business i prophesy to you by the anointing of the holy spirit i don't care what you are doing provided it's in righteousness i decree and declare the grace that makes things succeed let it come upon the works of your hands in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone here or any of your loved ones due for promotion and they've been sitting on their promotion because of tribal sentiments i decree and declare like the chronicles was opened by king ahasuerus and mordecai was lifted overnight i declare that may god use men to lift your people to their rightful place every force that has covered anyone's glory here you keep seeing things in the spirit but they never manifest i decree upon you in the name of jesus christ between now and the end of the year may the god of all grace surprise you if there is anything in your life that is missing missing script missing result missing brother missing sister missing whatever it is in the name of jesus just as samuel prophesied and the donkey went back to the house of kish i command everything that has left you to return to you two more prophetic words and we're done The Lord is still asking me to pray over the power to prosper. I know that many of you, this is not some prosperity jargon. Just believe this thing, trust God, settle it and do other important kingdom things. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, by the God who has helped this ministry. I pray there is, there is an exact anointing that prospers men. Where in one day, God can give you someone's salary of a lifetime. I pray for you. If you have never seen that dimension of favor, I stretch my hands to you. May it happen in your life now. You will wake up in the morning and they will hand you landed properties. By the favor of God. If there is any family here that as a family with matured grown-up children you are still staying in a rented apartment I decree and declare you may not know how it will happen but by the finger of God I lift you to your own place If there is any human being partnering with darkness to see that you will not see 2018 in the name of Jesus I stand here may the sword of judgment fall on them now <laughs> hallelujah listen to me if there is anything that according to God's calendar should have entered your life but was delayed through whatever reason i'm saying it now in the name of the lord god almighty whom i serve between now and december an avalanche of pending miracles released to you hear me there are people who god will give business ideas overnight and by the end of this year you will be feeding others In the name of Jesus, may the God I serve take hardship out of your life. May the God that I serve take sorrow out of your life. May the God that I serve take up today down tomorrow from your life. Finally, I pray for your spiritual life. Please be sensitive. I decree and I declare. If your spiritual life dies everything dies i stretch my hands 
a dimension of the gift of the spirit that you are trusting God for for a long time and has not come upon your life a dimension of the anointing you have trusted God for but has not come upon your life a dimension of prayer you have trusted God for and has not yet come upon your life a dimension of revelation and illumination you are trusting God for and has not come upon your life a dimension of influence in the spirit visions revelations the prophetic as I stretch my hands let there be a distribution of these graces now receive it right now let there be a distribution of these graces now hear me this is the last miracle service and I decree and declare to you everything that represents triumph as declared by the mouth of God Almighty I command and I declare that the angel that was sent to signify this prophetic word may they confirm that word in your life hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be Sing it one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. 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 Our time is gone, but this is our last. This is not the last service. It's only the last miracle service now very quickly please keep standing everyone there are people standing here this is your last miracle service we're not going to have any other one for this year we have about two three more services and we're done completely as a ministry for the year you are right here and the lord is speaking to you and saying son daughter you need to make your ways right with me don't argue it your overflow one overflow two you know overflow three and anywhere connecting with us online wherever you are you're rededicating your life to jesus or you are making that decision for the first time please our time is up but then i cannot but give you an opportunity to truly truly receive jesus wherever you are don't be ashamed leave your seat very quickly i'm counting one to five for the sake of time make your way to the front right now let's honor them as they come one god bless you as you come God bless you as you come. There should be many people coming. There should be many people. I expect so many people coming. Two. Clear the way for those coming from overflow two. Overflow three. Because of your distance, just walk to the front of your projector screen. Overflow three. Because of time, just walk to the front of your projector screen. Three. Someone here is saying, Lord, I'm tired of everything. Failing, tired. I'm handing everything to you for Jesus is still speaking to people make your way to the front God bless you God bless you one more count and we're done is someone still coming win that war tonight and run to Jesus Christ the Bible says whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away hallelujah God bless you lift your hands those of you in front and those connecting online wherever you are in the silence of your room your phone your device wherever i want you to just believe with me lift your hands and say this after me say it sincerely don't just recite it as a poem in the name of jesus say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for me tonight I receive you truly 
and sincerely as my Lord and my Savior. I decree and I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit. Please help the person under the anointing. And I declare that the Spirit of God lives in me. The grace to live a victorious life is mine right now in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. I stretch my hands, the anointing of the Spirit, smashing away every challenge in everyone's life. Those of you standing, I decree that every legal access the devil has over your life, I decree and declare that your sins are forgiven. A new chapter is opened over your destiny. I release you to a life of victory, a life of power and effective Christian life. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God speak for you. In Jesus' name I pray. I want you to say after me, Lord, I believe in you. Say it with conviction and truth. Lord, I believe in you. I believe in your power. I believe in your grace. Verse 1, Psalm 82, verse 1. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. Verse 2 says, How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Verse 3 says, Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Read them out of the hands of the wicked. Verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, and the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6. I have said, I have said, just follow me, I know you've read it many times. I have said, stop there. Go to verse 7. But although I have said, ye shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. I have said, it's not a lie that I declared it. Yet your results may not be consistent with what I have said. I have said, it didn't matter what he said. The fact that he spoke should mean that there must be a result. I have said, how many of you know when God speaks, it's supposed to happen? Bible says, I have said. God speaking by himself. And then verse 7 says, But you shall die like mere men, in spite of the fact that I have said. I've said it again and again, that between thus saith the Lord, and it came to pass, is a process. Are we together now? I will keep drumming this so that we will understand. God, please listen, God is not a magician. God is not a soothsayer. God is not a herbalist. Everything in the kingdom, listen, everything in the kingdom will require participation. Participation in order to receive any manifestation from it, anything at all. The cheapest thing we have in this kingdom is salvation. And even salvation as free as it is would require you making a declaration according to Romans 10 from verse 8 to 10. The word is nigh thee in your mouth and in your heart the word of faith which we preach. Right? That if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you shall be saved. It says for with the heart the man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation so there is always please listen there is always a requirement there is always a condition and for as long as we are unwilling to both find out and receive grace to diligently fulfill our part of the equation although god has spoken but it may never come to pass in our lives are we together i kept thinking about this honestly while i was on my way coming and i said lord please can you just just it looks very simple but a man can spend an entire lifetime not seeing the power and the glory of god in his life
simply because of our um, not understanding or not receiving grace to partner with God are we together ye are gods koinonia and all of you are children of the most high but but something happened in the equation that will still make you die like men, men although not destined to be that way are we together there must be a contribution on your own part to be healed of that sickness please listen listen you know and, and, and I think that the problem is the way we men of God have communicated the truth to God's people. We make it look like the fact that it has been done. Um, just believe it and it's over. That's a joke. It's a big joke. Did you hear what I'm saying? It's a big joke. No. Believing is not faith. Believing is only part of faith. Faith is an equation faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction believing only sets the pace for you to act with understanding but believing in itself as we teach will never bring you results are we together now so if i have a terminal disease brothers and sisters joshua selman alone will never be able to get the result you have a role to play everyone say i have a role to play now the trouble is many believers are not interested in finding out their own part did you know the bible does not even put pressure on us to learn what god should do the focus is on our own part because there are certain mysterious dimensions of god's own side that we may never understand the bible says his ways are past finding we focus on finding out what God should do and we pay very little attention to what we should do. Apostle, nothing is moving in my life. Why is that so? I can tell you among other reasons, there is a level of inaccurate understanding or inaction on your own part to be able to allow the power of God to be released in that respect. Are we together the disciples walked with jesus for three and a half years it did not guarantee their transformation they saw miracles they saw different things when jesus asked them the revelation of the word none of them had the revelation of the word although they had been close the word asked them and they could not answer the utopian enoch was reading his bible when the spirit of god caught philip and when he met him right at the chariot he said understandest what thou readest and i've told us again and again that understanding is only perfected when your side of the equation has been revealed you cannot say you understand the thing until you know the role you have to play if you study scripture and all you see are promises wonderful all you see are prophecies wonderful all you see are the vows of god over your life wonderful but it may never come to pass have i not said you should be blessed have i not said you should prosper have i not said with long life shall he satisfy you and show you his salvation have i not said the path of the justice as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter have i not said none of them in zion will say i am sick have I not said you have the mind of Christ have I not said no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper do you believe this yeah have I not said you have been raised up with Christ far above principalities and powers thrones dominions and every name that is named not only in this world this dispensation but even that which is to come but you see the issue is not what god has said we are not in doubt god cannot lie but why is it that our lives largely do not reflect the reality of what god has said i don't think it's that we don't believe god i truly think we believe him but the issue is the inaccurate understanding 
of the roles we have to play to commit God please listen you commit God by doing certain things good master what must I do to be saved not good master do you want to save me good master what do I do to be saved for 12 years that woman had been laboring with hemorrhage the issue of blood and the Bible says she had that Jesus was coming around and while she saw other people touching him she told herself look I, I know that I have a role to play I always liken the miraculous to doctors and you know hospitals and patients you don't see hospitals moving on the road calling patients a hospital is stationed with consultants are we together men who have been trained capable of addressing many cases it's up to the patient to be serious enough about his healing when a patient tells you the sun is too hot i can't go to the hospital um that's a diagnosis on its own it means that the patient is not desperate enough for healing correct when a patient is desperate for a miracle even if it means he has to be carried he must get there this is the approach we must give over our lives listen listen the concept of moving forward is not a mystery the concept of moving forward is having a sense of advancement in every area of your life are we together now yeah you're not moving forward if you remain in sickness you're not moving forward if you remain in poverty you're not moving forward if you remain a victim of oppressions of darkness you're not moving forward if your life is not fulfilling the purposes of the kingdom as designated to you so i i really came with a burden in my heart tonight not just to come and display power and throw people on the ground and you said i told you apostle no no that's not the issue you have a role to play your role is not to fall down that that is none of your business your role is not to fall on the ground your role is to number one believe god number two find out because some things don't require prayer some things require obedience are we together and some things don't just require obedience alone it requires aggressive prayer like the sister shared tuesday with an infection a devil appearing and playing with you see let me tell you something it takes a level of aggression to dislodge darkness out of your life whatever you tolerate is authorized to remain in your life hallelujah and the sister prayed fervently a prayer point was raised now there may be many other people who were sick there but a prayer point was raised and the sister said she prayed with all her heart found herself under the anointing and that was the end of the situation the same way somebody here may be desperate and say lord uh -uh, i have come i am before you i have attended many miracle services but i am ready just let me know what my role is i'm passionate about knowing what role i have to play in getting the word to be fulfilled in my life and i have found out that the key to progress is focusing on your role and being faithful god is too faithful to um play you know what they call um come see come sir you know you are here playing gimmicks like a scam god will not scam you have i not said you should be blessed have i not said this is a year of triumph have i not said you should rise like an edifice it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes you shall die like mere men in spite of the prophecy upon your life in spite of the anointing present help me please present to heal the sick in spite of the anointing thank you very much present to um cast out devils in spite of the grace available he says you shall die like men, men and fall like one of these princes the reason why many of us listening to me never receive from god is because we are casual about everything you probably were invited and you are here you're just happy you're looking forward to 
you know channel your focus and attention to and while the word is coming you don't see a need after all you don't have so much problems enough to cause you to want to really pray and participate but i want to challenge you tonight listen nothing will happen on its own are we together nothing will happen by itself not even the release and the flow of the power of god the ark of god had the power and the potentials to bring prosperity and healing and the presence of god but men had to carry that ark to the location where the power of god was needed to find expression the carrying of the ark was their own role the day they substituted their role with another formula it didn't work that's rendering the word of god of non effect are we together i came truly with a passion in my heart because i'm trusting not everybody may be sick not everybody may you know be delivered from oppressions of darkness but brothers and sisters as i always say you have to be tired of the level you are and cry and contend you must make progress we are human beings progress is measured by growth are we together when you see a baby after 10 years the baby is not growing you know that something is wrong are we together i think there's a medical condition like that where someone will be getting old but not show the physiological differences your life must show a difference spiritually financially career wise whatever it is and it depends on you it doesn't depend on god god is faithful god is faithful have i not said ye are gods have i not said you should be a greatly anointed man of god have i not said at this level of your life you should be walking in extreme levels of the anointing however in spite of the visions you saw in spite of the dreams you've had that word has not come to pass so tonight i want to lead you together as we cry to god and say lord thank you for what you have done but this area i i hold you by your word and i insist that something must be done in my life there are some of you your own role is to come for this meeting you have come that's your own role and so yours is to just sit back and enjoy how god makes nonsense of satan in your life you have paid the price there are people who have been here maybe days before this time just to prepare for the meeting fasting and praying alone and saying lord you have to visit me that's your role expectation because the bible says that an expectation shall not be cut short are we together the bible says they came to him to hear and to be healed to hear and to be healed you are sick in your body the first key is a listening ear because when the word of god comes the word of god is a messenger it is sent he sent forth his word like i'm speaking now it's not an ordinary word you are hearing there is a spirit behind it and that spirit is what begins to prepare you for healing if you sit down and you're watching i don't have a kidney i don't have this there's lump in my breast i have hiv i have cancer i have a and b and c now those things are true but do you not believe that god is able and in case you don't the word of god is here to help you are you seeing why it is important to hear you don't just get healed you hear when the apostle was preaching there was a man who was lame from birth and the bible says he was listening and then he perceived that the man had faith to be healed perceived that he had faith to be healed just like you are listening right now and your doubts are melting away as you are learning now that wow i have a role to play for some of you your role would be just to obey the instructions that come as we begin to minister they may be foolish instructions foolish instructions that's how the kingdom operates that's why you must become like a child once you bring big manism in the kingdom you will never receive results some instructions will be too stupid for your maturity to handle god can give an instruction a shout a jump sit down keep quiet they look stupid they will disorganize your sense of maturity and decorum 
but are you willing to be that childlike and receive your miracle it was stupid for the prophet to speak and say now nah, man go and wash seven times in a dirty river imagine just um strolling around and then seeing someone like obasa joe with boxers in a river just bathing and they say why is it just yourself man who is the stupid man that told me to do this now that's naman was a great captain and there he was there bathing two times the prophet said seven five times ah this embarrassment is too much the power was never released when his part was over the bible says he came out the seventh time listen six minus one can end you a lifetime of pain if god says seven six and a half is not seven god says bring your tight you bring nine and a half you just brought a donation that's not a tight correct yeah. obedience obedience as a symbol of your trust obedience for some of you it is a prophetic word that will come for some of you is divine direction divine direction whilst the meeting is going on all of a sudden an instruction will come from god i don't want us to waste our time tonight brothers and sisters and make it look as though uh, we just came to watch a nigerian movie where in a few minutes people will be flying left right and center and then we'll pray for the sick and then share the grace and you ask your visitor did you enjoy the movie and he said what a cinema called koinonia and you walk out and then your life is not changed i came here tonight to be changed i came sincerely to be changed hallelujah simple instructions write your prayer request we bring it before the lord there are people who have never never written anything to god or they just write on a clean sheet of paper god help me exclamation mark and drop it that is carelessness your lecturer will give you zero if you submit that kind of thing i'm just showing us how careless very careless many people are and we never receive anything from god if you've been healed come out to testify he said God, i'm ashamed though i will send a text later on now you do not know that every instruction is birthed by the spirit and it is for our good are we together jesus spat on the ground and said oh god bring your eyes and he put it there and said find your way to a pool called Siloam and wash crazy instruction sorry help me again the wind is pushing my piece of paper. Thank you. You will hear all kinds of instructions tonight. There is so much that I want, I'm trusting God that will do tonight. God has revealed so many things. And um, Pastor Jake sent me a text. And, you know, I think a, a few days or so ago. Saying how that the Lord had revealed so many things for him about this meeting tonight. So this is a very special meeting. You are standing on holy ground. And I'm telling you, God is about to invade this place this night in a very dramatic way. Very dramatic way. Don't leave any stone unturned to seeing that you walk out of this place with a testimony. If it's an instruction, insist that it comes. If it's a miracle, insist that you receive it. Are we together now? Yeah. Have I not said, ye are gods? Have I not said, be fruitful have i not said multiply have i not said this and that but that's not my reality now you must have the meekness to admit that i have a role to play not god where are you that prayer is not very accurate sometimes it's just a an expression of our humanity and god understands but crying and saying god where are you is not the issue the issue is lord i am here show me that which i need to see and do are we together now yeah habakkuk chapter 2 when you read from verse 1 he says i will set myself upon the tower i'll stand upon my watch set myself upon the tower that i will see what he will say to me so he's saying it bishop oedeko says faith is not just hearing what god is saying faith is seeing seeing what he's saying and doing what he's saying 
tonight the sick will be healed mike said something very powerful and prophetic while he was here taking the testimonies and he said god will address long standing issues do you believe that long standing issues long standing issues are issues that have refused to go like a bulldog holding on to your destiny everybody has ss or as in your family and you have prayed and prayed and the devil says you are joking i'm here oh, i'm here to stay but this night you can say satan uh -uh. no your finances you can trust god for grace you've been trusting god for a job nothing is happening you have now joined all the faithless people roaming around saying there's no job in nigeria is how it is working you see that you have allowed life to twist and turn you away listen i'm challenging you tonight return back to your convictions i know that life has pushed you so much to a point where you believe that baby cannot come again i prayed for a dear woman yesterday um very big great woman and i was so touched almost cried when the woman told me that she had been barren for 25 years she got married 1992 if it's a lady i think she's okay to marry at that time 25 is good enough 25 solid years trusting god someone may be here maybe you are 25 years and your issue came with you from bed you know you start counting from when you are born so technically it's more than because you start counting from when you are born but the whole issue can be there demonic are you willing to allow the devil take advantage of you or are you willing to say no 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 i i, I this thing called ss i know that you are there in my body and this and that but you have to live today this lack of favor i carry bad luck everywhere what is making i mean somebody promises to help you all of a sudden changes his mind as if he, as if a charm came on him no there are many of us who are walking under extreme levels of close heaven extreme you can look at a life and know not one area is working that's a call for concern nothing is working father alive mother alive six children graduate no job the only person employed is a driver that's not a good testimony brothers and sisters something is wrong for as long as you say that's how our people are this issue of our people you must throw it away and embrace the word of god from my village where we come from where what do you mean where you come from the bible says he that cometh from above it's above all if you come from your village you will look like them if you come from above you must change your identity i come from above in my whole family everybody suffers lives from hand to mouth there are hard do you know that not many poor people there are people who they, their issue is not laziness they are walking under an extremely close heaven when you are working under an extremely close heaven if you like become the managing director you will still go through a hard life hardship has nothing to do with money or lack of it it's a spirit that makes things laborious for people something that should take two weeks can take 10 years is god challenging us tonight i really want to challenge you there are people who never do anything well the first time they have to do it three or four times before it ever works who says it must be like that regardless of the assistance that is within their disposal it's a terrible spirit a woman gives birth to five or six children five of them are irresponsible people not knowing their left from their right and only the last born now is trying to even know god drinks once in a while and knows god here so he's not even balanced that's not a good life you can change it are we together that this sickness in my body listen i have been sick oh don't think i'm just talking nonsense i have been sick let me tell you i know what it means to be sick hopelessly sick 
you go to a hospital and at a point you know that this thing is trial and error there's no certainty i know what i'm saying you can walk in divine health it's a realm that is a reality not just divine healing divine health are we together you can walk in the favor of god you don't have to be a millionaire to be favored when god grants you access to helpers and people such that as your need comes there are people to shield you and that's favor that's favor money is not everything there are things i have seen people with money who are helpless in the face of certain things favor you can be a millionaire and not be favored the question is how it came you paid your life you paid everything you paid your faith in god for it you are you are a poor man and you are a failure let me tell you how you know your heavens are opened remember last week's message the degree to which men arise to help you brothers and sisters is a classic sign that god is with you it's not about saying i can do it when a man arises to help you makes it his responsibility to see your life move forward that's favor tonight i trust god that we'll receive favor we need it you see how the climate is harsh in this country we need favor have i not said have i not said have i not said but you shall die have i not said but you shall die have i not said but you shall remain poor have i not said but you may remain sick have i not said but you may not move forward in your life but tonight you can make up your mind and say lord you have said it i believe it i act upon that truth and it must manifest it must manifest some of us are here as you are seated right now you are angry with other people angry with god angry with your father let me tell you something about the spirit of grief listen grief is a spirit and bitterness is a spirit i used to think there were very little issues but i have discovered that they play a major role in robbing us from receiving from god are we together If only my father got a good job by now he would have given me one of his houses see how i'm starting life from scratch and you are angry you may never move forward are we together see how my head of department annoyed me today and you rob yourself from receiving see how the bike man eh, wanted to take away my change i said there is many 10 naira he refused and because of 10 naira you miss a major miracle part of your preparation tonight will be to take away anything that can stand the way of the free flow of the power of god from hatred to bitterness to envy and all of these things that have that sustain the ability to rob you and destroy you and you open up your heart and say lord you have said it i'm ready to see it manifest in my life are we together it doesn't take so long I was so blessed by the testimony of our dear sister you know i met two people while i traveled i had prayed for them some time ago two of them over the issue of um, um barrenness there's been this uncommon grace that i have personally seen in this season for releasing supernatural fruitfulness especially in the area of children strange miracles very strange miracles there are probably people seated here that's all you pray for you can give away your job and give away anything god give me a child do you believe he can do it whether they say you have a womb or not that's just leave the doctor's report there's no doctor that knows everything in the human body even us we are still learning many things we are calling we are changing the names as we grow so there's no guarantee there is no guarantee that what the doctor said is final authority there are people who they've told them you have to live one week and after 10 20 years they are still standing are we together do you know that when you travel to the villages you see people who ordinarily if you diagnose them you just put a drip right immediately but they are the ones walking 
maybe he's the mechanic the only mechanic in the village fixing truck he will carry it by himself and put it and that person is sick every sign but simply because someone has not told him he believes he's healthy and he will live like that 97 he's still kicking are we together yeah you don't have any child you lose your teeth nobody feeds you so you better keep them your dentition must be complete at 97 you cannot walk you are in trouble nobody will help you and you see people 102 103 but the informations we have received have conditioned us to agree with certain things so they look at you and they say kai you look pale you just say yes i look pale you you know nothing is wrong with you but just because you read online and they say once you see a pimple here and here is a sign of ebola and exactly where they described is where you are you say no 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 i don't have ebola and after 10 minutes say, let me better go to the hospital they will now say you don't have ebola but you are sick lie down now we have doctors here doctors don't feel bad I'm, I'm on your side but i'm just saying look we need to edit a lot of stories we have received do you know if you were not told certain things you would have gotten more results in your life than now something you had discouraged you something someone told you out of sympathy and a sincere heart you were believing god and you know you just knew that look this thing will work and somebody told you he said look let me tell you something eh? you see me i'm 70 years old i started this your madness when i was 19 till now god has not responded i can't say he's not faithful though, but <laughs> this is your gym gym you will soon rest and immediately your passion dies down the devil is a liar tonight every truth in the word of god is available for the believer die believing it die acting upon it and you will commit god's integrity you're not going to be careless over it and get a result brothers and sisters i would die believing the word of god if i if i die it's over you can talk well, you talk to a dead body but not when i'm alive i believe his word i believe i believe Lord I believe Lord I believe I believe I believe Lord I believe Lord I believe I believe in miracles I believe in signs and wonders I believe in the power of the Holy Holy Ghost, yes, I do believe. I believe in the miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? You are here seated. Do you believe that that devil can leave you? There is a spirit that oppresses you. You can't sleep. I went through it. As a preacher, oppressed by demon spirits people told me it's, it's not it doesn't happen well it happened to me brothers and sisters it did it happened to me the day i was free i knew till tomorrow do you know let me tell you something brothers and sisters one activity of a demon spirit in your life can walk like an octopus close almost 10 doors one spirit 10 doors you will be addressing it here finances favor open door whereas one wicked spirit sitting on your destiny you may say it, it doesn't matter you watch the lives of people let me tell you when most people come out they come out over the most obvious issue the most obvious one is the one you try to address but when the power of god comes it's like a drug it will scan your body and deal with everything 
it's only because you need a child now that's why you think what is wrong with you is barrenness it's a spirit that has been enjoying your ignorance for a long time it's just that you've not had an opportunity to give birth so you do not know are we together now there are people carrying the spirits of failure upon their lives they will tell you it's because of this job they leave this job and go to this one they leave this and do this listen when you see different conditions producing the same result there is a spirit behind it whether good or bad you take a man somewhere he excels you take him somewhere he excels there is a spirit sponsoring that result the same way you take a man and give him any opportunity he will blow it there is a spirit this is a revelation to someone already to tell you it's not that they didn't give you the job it wouldn't have made any difference it's not about the job you must address the spirit causing failure in your life and family are we together now yeah there are people who do well in every family they rise up they enjoy the blessings of the lord and overnight they crash as if they do you know let me tell you something there are people i know today honestly speaking 10 15 20 years ago these people were like the happening people in every area influence finances today today they will cough and there's nobody to arise and help them it's a spirit you you will now come and think okay it's just because this one didn't go to school no 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 there is a spirit you may write 20 prayer requests and those 20 prayer requests are caused by one just one spirit and the moment the power of god touches you you will start seeing a ripple effect of open doors that's what usually happens all of a sudden somebody who promised to help you after six years now says uh -uh, i told you to send me your number that day no he just thinks he's realizing it but something made him the king could not sleep and he called he said come uh, bring me this mordecai did this so 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 and so did they reward him mordecai had done that he had never offended the king as far as the bible records yet they did not bless him remembrance does not happen through charm there is a spirit that sponsors men to remember you do you know brothers and sisters i have learned through life that the mountain that stands before you is within the capacity of someone to crumble and solve it for you but until the spirit of god moves those people they will never help you don't forget my teaching on the gift of men listen to that teaching again it's a powerful secret one of the most there are seven mysteries and secrets that god gave me one of it is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers overnight your life can change because the right person steps into your life overnight you can die because the wrong person stepped into your life there are some of us what you are receiving tonight is grace for the right people to come there are too many people in your life none of them is right all the trouble in your life can be traced to certain individuals that hop their way through your life no have i not said it's up to you to make the world work right now and we're going to engage the world this night violently violently please drop your pride drop everything and let's cry before the god of heaven and say lord step in step in step in change my story don't pretend like everything is working change my story lord i thank you a and b and c area they are working well i give you the glory but lord this area i've i've come before you tonight trusting you for grace trusting you for grace trusting you for grace he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns. He reigns. How God is an awesome God. He reigns. He reigns. 
to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it please hear me let me repeat myself if you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it sir you do not deserve it there must be a desperation you want the anointing you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah tonight i want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness this is a factory where god produces miracles so you you, you are going to have to trust god get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray john 15 if you can give it to us john 15 let's look at something jesus said john 15 let me show you how passionate jesus is in us producing results john 15 We'll read from verse 5 verse 5 down to 8 listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the i've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find root, um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the fine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and jesus says i am the fine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what yeah how much much fruit then he says for without me ye can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned seven if ye abide in me uh-huh and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you read verse 8 if you are a christian one two read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now hearing is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces results so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head 
I always give an, 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 an analogy with, with a Jimmy's uh, uh, child, the daughter. Every time she comes, you see her well-dressed, happy. He takes care of her. Um, he loves her, but much more than that for his namesake. Are we together? If you see the daughter running around, no shoes, no nothing, you look at him and look at his wife and say, why are you people irresponsible? Nobody blames a child for being a child. They blame the parents for not being good parents. And so God is saying, my testament is under pressure on earth and I am depending on the fruits that you produce. When you are healed, then that word Jehovah Rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men. Nobody can no longer say God is not a good God. God wants you to produce results. You have to understand this. It's not something you have to coerce him. He wants it for his namesake. It is in his interest. Praise the Lord. When I hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area, I am happy. I feel very proud of them. I'm very, very happy. If you're not doing well, I'm there for you. But if you're doing well, I'm proud of you. I'm still proud of you even if you're not doing well. But you should do well. You have to do well. Are we together? Yeah. Hearing is my father glorified. Give it to us again. That you bear much fruit. Results. You know, many people say results don't matter. It's a joke. What else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual say no 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 i'm a changed person uh, it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere oh. listen do you know I love the way God is. He will allow your enemies to finish talking. Then he'll say, let's start proving them wrong. One by one by one by one. That's what God is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your God. In this year of triumph, God will surprise them. Do you know? Listen, there are people who scorn at believers happily. Every time they see people loving God, they sit down and discuss them. And to a point that some of you are embarrassed. Your phone rings. It's a Christian ringtone. You, you, you off it quickly. Because you, you don't want to shame this God who is disappointing you. My God. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like, what? Damn. It will be like a dream. He will say, no, 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 no. Which promise? Which promise are you talking about? They said the one you know. He said, no, no, you are, you are joking. Because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling. But then when the God of heaven is ready to pick people up, you know, I was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman. I don't know if he's here, the guy in Kogi that got a job. What a blessed testimony. All of a sudden, God just changed his story. Look at the lady that God healed of HIV. I know some of you think it's a lie. This is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing? If you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever, how did A and B become C? You are not a Christian because the Bible said, my sheep hear my voice. The voice of another, they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at 
once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i, I don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david damn come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i heard and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album Oh, sir, to produce one song in Lagos is 250,000. He said, Okay, how many tracks do you have? 10. And then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you. When you finish, he now says, This is a check of 4 million naira. Please, when you do everything, let me know. And then you leave the man and say, So what is the catch? He said, There is no catch. When it is favor, there is no catch. God will just surprise you and leave you like that. Somebody will just build a house. It's called prepared blessings. See, if you don't believe in what I'm telling you, you can go home, honestly, because this is what we are going to deal with tonight. Triumph. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always, always to triumph. Always to triumph. That you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over, someone walks to you and says, I don't know you, but God sent me into your life. To say from now till September, every month I should be giving you 20,000. You don't believe it can happen? I hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead, your mom is dead. From today, I become a father in this family. Simple. For starters, move out of this place into a two bedroom flat. Look, let me tell you something. It's called quantum leap. I'm trusting that God will take us into this dimension. David, you will do a little experiment. Eh? You will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog. Ready? Now, watch. Let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap. Are you ready? This is progress. Two, three. Now, jump. This is a quantum leap. I know it's a little analogy, but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap 
where the grace of God comes upon your life divine acceleration triumph 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 by the spirit there are ministries that need quantum leaps if all you do is to invite members through posters let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews please help those under the anointing are you hearing what i'm saying if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god than arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they won't help you when you are in trouble you'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you all these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment not to build a house for building sake not to buy a car for buying a car sake not to eat well for whatever it is so that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship god for 24 hours nobody will call you and say why are you worshiping god you can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because you can listen Brothers, let me talk to you. Do you know right now? Please come. When you see a gentleman like this, do you know if this gentleman is successful, many elders will ask him, what are you doing? In other words, how come your life is this fast? Society has made people's growth rate so slow. If you buy a car at 45, they say, wow, wonderful. You are responsible. But you buy a car at 22 and see people say you are a witch. If they see a young man succeed, you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life two plus two it doesn't add up god wants to accelerate the kingdom the coming of jesus is near there is a lot we must do for the kingdom listen you can't spend your life looking for money it's a cost it's a cost it's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink you will never serve god that way pray eight hours when you are hungry you are joking you may endure but your children will not endure listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we will keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you're a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you you must be a joker you must access another mystery 
brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because and we're standing here only because you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked the sick it was over you hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God please koinonia pray pray hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command exempt yourself Accept yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years 
what nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah hallelujah two more prayer points before i begin to minister to us listen hallelujah jesus said satan come to me and does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and we are going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Keep standing, everyone. We are going to pray now. I tell you, I'm angry in my spirit. Luke 18, verse 1. Please, quickly. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Verse 2. There's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. And she came to him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Stop there. God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful. God, is, there are people who don't need mercy. They need vengeance. You don't pray if you don't believe it. But let me tell you something there is a god of vengeance he said let god arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry lord avenge i cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family koinonia pray arise so Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Oh God of vengeance, arise. 
Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent and he said they should go and hang him he already built a gallow in advance in advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes married a man that God had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no, you rejoice in my pain. The God of vengeance will arise for you. I tell you. Only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends? They lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check. Sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life Are we together? Tonight, I want us to engage the word. To engage the word with your spirit. If you insist, brothers and sisters, God will give you a breakthrough. If you insist, God will give you a breakthrough. Are we together now? I want you to pray one last prayer. And then I'll begin to minister by the spirit. Lord, visit the root cause of my challenges. I may not know what it is. I only know the effect. Oh God, go to the root. He says every tree. The axe is placed at the root. Every tree my father has not planted. Lord, go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life. 
the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause are you praying Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. If after tonight's meeting, you return with a testimony, nobody will ask you to run to the house of God. You will go by yourself. Do you know how many, why many people never seek God? The truth is they are tired of lack of results. They are tired of it. Jumping around, doing all kinds of things. Yes, you don't love God just for results. But you've heard me say it again. At a point in your Christian experience, results must come as consolations to your serving God. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight. Let me make an altar call. Let's start with the altar call first. So that we'll finish right now. Please, everyone standing, no moving around. Outside your attention. There are people right here. Everything we boast of is in Christ. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee. Please listen very carefully. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee whatsoever. Are we together now? so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in christ the bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two cate categories of people very quickly i'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor jakes will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust god to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of jesus you are here and you are saying man of god is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you i'm speaking to and i'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat Give Jesus praise. Please clear the way for them. There are people running outside. Let Jesus Christ step into your destiny. Koinonia, can you motivate them? Appreciate them as they come. Don't let any friend tell you why you're disgracing yourself. Shame the devil over your life tonight. God bless you. Keep coming. Man of God, you don't know what I've done. Just make that step of faith and come quickly run to Jesus run to Jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus
Hallelujah. Kiss every one of us in front. Can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as their hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's book of life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister I have a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly, we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visit us in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. 
a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. 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 Doesn't mean other people are not being touched. But particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from the hiding place. They must depart from the hiding place. They must depart from the hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit. I command every devil. Strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakatabakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. That spirit, I cost that spirit. I cost that spirit. Bring the money out. There's a mighty deliverance happening to her. Delay over your family. Broken, 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 broken by the spirit. Hello, Madonna. Madonna, 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now 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 Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of God is looking for those people. The power of God is looking for those people. You rise to a level and fall. You rise to a level and fall. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, wherever you are, I release that fire like a messenger to your life. Like a messenger to your life. I cause that witchcraft now. I cast that witchcraft now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. My God, hold on. I'm seeing deliverance for children. Like little children. The power of God is coming on small children in this place. I'm seeing children being delivered some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now I set them free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friend, lift your hands. That gentleman going. Tap him. Hi. There is hardship in your family. 
and the Lord is asking me to curse it right now in the name of Jesus I curse hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now I curse that spirit the spirit of hardship I curse you now I curse you now I curse you now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest I want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please I want to pray for you right now the Lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you I'm seeing a lady who is AS God is about to change her genotype now 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 a dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS from AS to AA by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost 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 we end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people one seven one seven one seven at the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come God is going to use you. Come, come and stand here. Lift your hands. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. I don't know you. Huh? But an anointing will come upon your life today. And God is going to change your life like day and night. Receive that grace right now. Strange grace. Step into that dimension. That dimension. There are impartations going on now. Let's just receive the impartations. Impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters 
I release the gifts of the spirit. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange manifestations of power. Of power. Healing anointings. Healing anointings. I activate healing anointings right now. Healing anointings. Step into it. Step into it. Outside. Inside. Step into it. God is releasing mantles. Mantles of healing. Ancient mantles of healing. Ancient mantles. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Healing barren cases. Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. God wants to release the healing anointing. Let's just stay here with this healing thing. God wants to release. There are many more people. I'm not seeing them receive it yet. Father, you want to release this grace. There is such a grace as the healing anointing. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado. May the power of God come on you now. Everyone, everyone, everywhere, men, women, take it, take it, take it, fire upon your spirit. Hello, Himadonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, Himadonai, thy kingdom come. I don't know how we are going to manage this now. Ushers, there is a prophecy for you. The Lord says I should tell you from now, as you hold people and as you shake them, there will be a transference on every one usher. I'm prophesying now. That's why I say I don't know what we'll do. Ushers, ushers, receive that mantle. Receive that mantle. A strange healing grace coming on our ushers. Supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not calling to a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you're a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural
supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it it's coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 there is a woman one of our mothers this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now now one of our mothers one of our mothers is receiving that grace God is releasing that grace whether you are inside or outside whoever it is I release that grace now there is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit you must take that grace now you must take that grace now uncommon ability uncommon ability uncommon insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit hallelujah hallelujah listen look at me please help them how many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life it can be anything how many of you are trusting God I want to release that grace now and I want you to believe it some of you had destiny help us but something happened and they left your life some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head I'm saying this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gift endowment for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back I invoke the grace that he has put upon my life I prophesy strength restoration I call it by name and I command it back to your life I call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive
receive that grace now. Take it. Take it. Grace. Grace for your academics. Grace for the ministry. Grace. The words you speak turns things around. Help me. The chains are gone. God help me now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. I'm seeing something happening here right now. There are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically. Hold them. Hold them so they don't injure people. I release the grace. You won't control yourself physically. Running speed physically. I release that grace now. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. Right now, right now, I command you to run, run in the spirit, catch up, catch up, catch up by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I release speed, I release speed, I release speed, speed to your life, speed to your destiny, speed to your life, speed to your destiny. Your life speak to your destiny the words you speak come things around your arms run like Elijah run like Elijah you took away the chain Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we're going to be praying here tonight and we're going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you're here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we're going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here a jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there 
for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who, who is around again is Femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there's a promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir first station here yeah. you cannot walk i can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't the hand i can't lift hold it. on look at this sir look at me you believe in jesus i believe you believe in the power of I jesus believe. lord i introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now in the name of jesus christ huh the lord will begin to touch you your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what i'm asking you to do lift your leg just lift it lift your leg lift your leg start try to walk gently come come try to walk gently come give me the stick look at me look at your stick come come Don't be afraid, come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this thing. Look at this. 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 chair and just keep him let him sit down while the power of God touches him sir you came here by yourself um trust him okay and the boy has gone okay he's somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ the God you believe has begun this miracle you will perfect it look for a stick for him there hold your stick by yourself and go don't put it on the ground hold it up walk by yourself and go give Jesus praise look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
someone is still sick here someone is still sick here I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me someone is still sick here no 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 I'll pray for you but I'm saying I feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down choir someone is sick come let me pray for you you came out lift your hands Jesus someone is sick here someone has to be healed here now someone is sick here I know when the anointing has released me to do something else I still feel that someone is sick someone is sick someone is still sick Lord let that person be healed this is a miracle service this is a miracle service this is a miracle service just this vicinity I sense it's like you know how someone is pulling your cloth Jesus said virtue has gone out of me that's what I'm still feeling in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there's a gentleman here your elder brother has a case i may not be able to mention the case this is a health related case but this is a challenge with married people this has affected is one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage and the lord is bringing a miracle right now right now elder brother supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit Hi. you are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue I see a transference of grace from a Jimmy's wife to you You are doing your work as an usher, but you have received something very strange and very powerful. You see, let me tell you something. If, if you do not, you see, hold on. Walking in the anointing is more than having it. Having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing. If not, you will be anointed, but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them, there is, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing, I don't know why God is doing this thing. It's a strange, Hallelujah. God, God is giving two of them strange favor, strange favor. I see strange favor, strange favor. America, God is giving you access. I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head. And God is saying he's giving you strange access, strange access, strange access, strange access, strange access. Muas, God is giving strange favor, strange favor. Strange favor. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is a word for someone. And the Lord is saying, why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? Why make it next year 
when I have destined you to be this year. This is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people. When I've destined it to be this year. As I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, my God. Hallelujah. There is a lady here. You have been disappointed with God right now. You actually came to help the ushers. You came expecting that I would directly call your case and you, you, you prayed this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and I didn't call your case the power of God is coming on you now now as a sign that God had now wherever you are he's locating you now now I command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands now and I command. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still playing outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a, listen, there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations, God, see, let me tell you, right now, if the anointing comes on you, just know that is the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you. Just know that your prayer has been answered. You understand? This is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down, it's not answered. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this is how God is choosing to confirm to some people now, as I'm talking, that your prayer, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult your prayer is. Praise the Lord. Now, everyone, please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, leave her. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get a rakata kata bakata. So poto so peke te te te. Miracle so God. Testimony so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The Spirit of God is moving over the prayer request, visiting families, releasing angels, releasing angels, visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence, visiting the prayer request. Savior, 
He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. On, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus mighty praise. Hallelujah. Please, say to me, still come. Pastor Jake's come. I just feel like doing this is. I, I don't always do this, but I want to prophesy over your lives. And in the name of Jesus, they are my friends. But the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives. They are great men of God in power. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension. To prophesy a new level. And in the name of Jesus, I speak it. Step into a new dimension. A Jimmy, God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of jesus and pastor jakes god is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the lord is saying i should prophesy a release i told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension
that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaska paskata paskate pash legete to soto preteke skopari adabalaraba a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of jesus a new chapter listen i prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be open. Be open right now. Be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. I don't know you, but the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Lift your hands. This is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings. I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command. Uh -uh. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, I speak it right now in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory I unveil your glory shaka ta 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory tonight is a strange night Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now, touching people. 
you know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway, miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway, Benway, strange grace, strange grace. I break witchcraft, Benway. I'm seen Benway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm seeing, I know O to go, but I'm seeing the O, A. A at the, is there a place like that? Or to bar or something. The power of God, I'm seeing that. Going to that area. The Lord is bringing a miracle. Ends with an A. Whoever comes from that region, in the name of Jesus, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Benway. 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely matato sotota emo state miracles miracles breakthroughs signs wonders miracles miracles to emo state by the spirit of the living god hallelujah If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone the ministry of signs and wonders let me talk to you my dear this lady looking at me you come the Lord has located you today come lift your hands the Lord says I should tell you for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame He's bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We're rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening... You don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge, every challenge that has refused to leave, I prophesy upon it right now. I command that it comes to an end in your life now. Now, now, that fair lady, come, this lady, time. run, come, lift your hands, I'm still praying, in the name of Jesus, listen, whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life, I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside a cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me, I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Damagadi. Where? Damagadi to Kutuku. Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. 
God is going to throw somebody out of your life. I'm not a prophet of doom, but it will happen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw completely so that you can move forward. I hold your hands in the name of Jesus. Every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person, but your relationship with Jesus. You, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not death, oh, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen. I lay my hands on you and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over every family represented here. Whether your nuclear family, your extended family. Hold on. I don't know what has gone wrong, but in the name of Jesus, within now and miracle service match, dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. In the name of Jesus, one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are, but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny, I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, may it come to pass. I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. In one month, 30 days, I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost. 30 days, beginning from today, step into those results. Step into those results. Step into those results. Step into those results. Strange dimensions of results. Hallelujah. Whoever has despised you, whether to your knowing, or not to your knowing i pray may god put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as god honors you i pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of jesus christ i activate fresh grace Receive it fresh grace, fresh fire outside. Receive it fresh grace, fresh fire, fresh grace. Hallelujah! Wherever your prosperity is, I pray. May listen, listen. Hagar carried Ishmael, and they were roaming around the desert. They said there was no water but when an angel appeared all of a sudden they saw water that you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there i open your eyes to see where god has anointed to bring you financial blessings i open your eyes in the name of jesus i open your eyes to see where god has placed your prosperity hallelujah the plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph 
it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this oh whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them i command the earth to open and swallow them whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you may misery follow them the Esther anointing the unction and the grace that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata in the name of the Lord Jesus I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now take it I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of jesus may god raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked um wicked state that we are living right now in this country people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame May God raise a defense for you. And finally, I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you. Many of us, ha, many of us have not studied. Honor is not money. Listen, listen. There are many rich people with no honor. Are we together? There are many well-to-do people with no honor. Do you know what honor is? honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oh that the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all name for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that man to right now take that man to right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great I am. Who was and